Yeah. Yeah. Then he ended up having like his own TV show. A pretty limited release, obviously. Hi, welcome to Space Beavers. <laughs> I have lost the Hippo Man. I think man. we need a theme song. Does anybody see the Hippo Man? Space Beavers. You alright? Yep. We like there to is, there is. Yep. up yep. in space. I was going to say, Nimbus probably took off of him. What do you want? The Hippo Man, we lost him because we didn't use him last week. He's down in the hole down here where he was. That's yeah. right. Because <laughs> he's paralyzed. He's been put out. All right, here, give him to me. <laughs> right now, I have not watched. What about Reginald? Last you want Reginald too? No. No. no Re- you Re- didn't watch? No, I didn't. Okay. That's good though, because you're not supposed to know I have him. All right, cool. Yeah, there you go. So, uh, you wake up. Did you start recording, right? Yes. You wake up in a very cramped right. skiff. Uh-huh. Not your shit. <laughs> and uh, with a uh, silent. Mm-hmm. And you have no idea how you got here. These guys are on the other ship. You guys are on the other ship. Can you get a little bit of room here? Like, <laughs> right? Okay. Yeah, you tell this is definitely designed for one person and you've been traveling in, uh, in right. cramped quarters. And I'm a hippo. <laughs> Wow, you're more a now. <laughs> <laughs> right? And you wake up with these two letters in your hand. And the odd thing about the two letters in your hand is that uh, they're in your handwriting, but you don't remember writing them. Okay. <laughs> When's this pilot, though? I don't know. Are you doing your prediction? I'm writing down my prediction for okay. cliffhanger because Ryan promised us a cliffhanger. There's a note for the pilot. So I'm going to write it down and I'm going to place it on the bookshelf <laughs> over here. He's doing a magic trick. Everybody pay attention to the magic trick. Yeah. <laughs> Sealed anyway, or is it just this? No, it's just folded up. <laughs> is it in gift? Oh, yeah. Can Jeff read? <laughs> uh, with right. the sword, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Prediction written down. All right. That's the end of session yeah, prediction. So, uh, Silent, you go ahead and explain to Jeff why he's in this tiny little space and you're touching his butt. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, someone came looking for you and we, uh, said you weren't here. You were going somewhere else. So they were like, oh, well, let's go, uh, actually, you know, I'll go with you. Let's go find them. They, they really, it was a rock shot, so they really wanted you. For your, uh, uh, what? For the blade. Tiger Man. Tiger Man, Rakshasa. Okay. I know it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, he wanted your sword. All right, Said there. it was his. Oh. So, uh, we beat the shit out of him. Oh. Uh-huh. You're out yes! of <laughs> Okay! <laughs> that, that's the way you're gonna tell us? <laughs> we beat the shit out of him. Oh, okay. <laughs> we did beat the shit out of him. He was nine points from dead. He was nine points from being dead. He was almost dead. Like, we, he basically said, uh, for his ogre friend that was with him, she was not very pretty. She had it all right in all. She had. You would have liked her. She had it in all the right places, but her face, no. Oh. Yeah. That's why they make paper bags. Exactly. <laughs> and uh, we escaped her, and we uh, all ran away at the same time because we weren't going to stay around. We weren't about that business. And how did you escape her? Oh yeah, you totally. Uh, you should take a nap. <laughs> Calm emotions. Take a nap. Calm emotions. Her emotions. <laughs> She was uh, raging. She was a barbarian. Yeah. I called her Perpetual emotions. raging. Yeah, she was and raging all the time. I was so tired. So then I gave her the suggestion that she should just lay down and take a nap. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> that came in clutch, by the way. That was that was really nice. Oh, we would have gotten out of there alive if not. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's a long story short. Yeah. All right, cool. So where are we going now? 
Uh, where were we going again? Waterdeep. Where's Waterdeep? <laughs> yeah, you're on your way to Toro. Toro. Where you're going to meet up with the other ship in orbit over Toro. Yeah. Yeah, we have a whole plan. Yeah. But the tire man knows we're going to Toro. Sorry for the cramped space. My uh, ship is cloaked, so we hid you there. Tell, tell Chip. Huh. Tell Chip. How the tire man here we're going. That would be me. Oh, <laughs> <you were> <laughs> I was talking. Uh, what are your classes again? Uh, I am a rogue and a monk. What do you mean? Because you can't play this spell jammer if you don't have any spells. <laughs> I do have some spells. Okay, good. <laughs> no, I do. I actually elf, have some elf spells. Shit. Yeah. Elf shit. Yeah. Oh, the elf. Yeah. Okay. So as long as you got at least one first level spell slot, I guess you're good. <laughs> anyway, but so uh, as the spell jammer uh, helm tells you where they are, so you know they're right behind you. Right, they're keeping about a two mile distance because you can't get within one mile of each other. So just be on the safe side. In case of maneuvering, they're following along about two miles. Yeah. Hey Jeremy. Yeah. We're, we're two miles behind you. Two miles behind? He knows that though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, we're behind him? Yeah. Oh, I know. Everyone went through first. Yeah. <laughs> But you don't know exactly where you are, because pilots doing the piloting, and the pilot knows what they're doing. I'm trying to figure out where I'm going to wear. <laughs> You're trying to figure out where you're going to wear. <laughs> What's in on Toro? <laughs> right? Right. <laughs> so, uh, do we have any more minis? Well, time? plus, you know, assassination clothes. Do we have any new minis? I didn't get one made, no. Yeah, well, yeah, you have ribbons, don't you? I have this is battle here. But you don't have the dress one. Where do I do? Where do your ribbons go? Where is Ribbons? Oh, uh, Tyler, if yeah. you have you ribbons, 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 did you? Well, I probably okay. wear that anyways because we're going into battle and I know it. So yeah, Jeff, uh, we slept three days, so anything you have marked off, go ahead and uh, recover it because all okay. yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, full rest. Yeah. Full rest. Uh, unless, unless, uh, whatever happens during your... Right, unless... No, now, you, didn't we try to tell Rosh Hashan? You only got one more day to, before you reach Charles, so it's been two more days on the, Rosh on the way to Toronto. Yeah, his name's California. Didn't yeah. we tell California that... Um, in, in the first campaign, the first one was named Arkansas. So. Well, the first one was named and Mississippi. Mississippi. The second one was named <laughs> Arkansas. Oh, yeah. And it's or didn't we tell or him that Vagra. we got a message Vagra. from Vagra. Team... That the he block. was headed for TNO with the sword. Hey. Yes. <laughs> I thought that's what we told him. Uh, we tried to convince the, the Rashasa that Tim was heading to TO. Uh, again, Jeff, we'll, we'll fill you in soon for all. Not yeah. Tim, Jeff. Together again. They told too many. Well, yeah, so now you guys are meeting up on the out outskirts of uh, or in orbit over Toro. Uh, yeah, so basically they just told. One too many lies. <laughs> they didn't use my persuasion, they used their deception. And I rolled terribly. Yeah. Really bad. But they hadn't gone for a long time. <laughs> so, I, I, I cast guidance. <laughs> I had guidance and blessed, didn't I? I had both. Uh, Spark inspiration. Spark yeah. inspiration and guidance, yeah, and I, I still rolled like a 13. There's sausages and mac and cheese in there for you. Hell yeah. What she really said was, don't eat my pizza. Oh, okay. That's exactly what I said. That's exactly what I said. Thank you for interpreting that. <laughs> Sorry. No, all it's, your okay. Pizza it's okay. It's okay. You're like, don't do it again. <laughs> you said you said pizza's there. We had fun, though. I did. We went through the Hot Pocket story, the four gallons of milk story. And I said, <laughs> I'm really glad I didn't foster teenage boys. And I want to foster teenage girls. I wouldn't be able to afford them. <laughs> it's, a, it's not even it's not even the cost. It's the like I went to the store, I came home, and now we're out. Yep, it's gone. Right. <laughs> that would definitely still be the cost. <laughs> so I have to go to the store again yeah. the next day. Yeah. 
Well, that was kind of whenever I had teenagers, and that was true. And you double up, and you're still up. That was kind of true whenever I had teenagers. And then you buy something, and then they don't eat it at all. It just sits there. I'm like, I ain't got this for you. Why aren't you eating it? Or you buy something for yourself, and you don't even get any because you don't. I just want to channel. My daughter was kind of like a boy. Okay, so here we are <laughs> over here, Toro. Okay, what's our approach for uh, for for what, what are we doing on Toro? Yeah, what are we doing on Toro? Yeah. We're killing. Killing who? assassination. Target. The assassination guy who ruined the NDA for Zantra. Whoever spoken when they weren't supposed to. Speak. Oh, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Okay. So, uh, uh, play, clue, clong, it was a C word. Alex, Andrew, what was his name? Carl Newsman? Yeah, that. I told you it was a C. It did. <laughs> I was about to say it. We got a contract from Zontra uh, for our, an NDA violator of Carl Newsmith. He's a human from Toril in the city of Waterdeep. He is a carpet merchant. So, oh, it was Carmen, I thought it was time. <laughs> it's meant to be a dirt merchant. Uh, let me yeah, fix it. <laughs> let me fix it. <laughs> Doesn't make any difference. I'll just write it down. Make cool. right. So, we arrive at Toro. We're going to find where Waterdeep is. And we go to all the markets looking for a carpet merchant. Uh, okay. Does anybody know how where Waterdeep is? Where Waterdeep is? Yeah. Well, are you asking... Uh, Meta-knowledge? <laughs> no, which character would know how to find... I would. Uh, actually, I think it would be Jeff. Uh, Jeff, aren't you the... Uh, cartographer? Don't you have cartography stuff? Uh, oh, don't, don't tell me that's Virgil. Is Virgil the cartographer? <laughs> yeah. yeah. I have navigator stuff. Shit. Navigator doesn't work, though. What do you have that would tell you where it is? Why wouldn't I have already been there before? Uh, uh, big deal. Probably nature. Nature? Was that the history? Well, I think it's more of a history. But that doesn't exist anymore. <laughs> so, nature, history. I think history. Do you have some history? Investigation, maybe? A little history. What? I have a little history. Uh, I have more investigation. I five in history. Uh, yeah, that's what I have. I have five in history. Anybody else have better than that? What about insight? <laughs> Negative one. <laughs> Not insight? Well, I got, I got a six on insight. Plus eight for me. No, no. History is, I think history is the only one. Yeah, history, yeah. All right. Who's right, okay. throwing right, it? Five in history. Anybody else have anything better than that? Nope. No, I just have a okay. five. Uh, Inara, you want to bark inspiration me? Sure. You can do it. All right. All right. <laughs> Uh, you're gonna aid me too? Say yes. Yes. <laughs> okay. Alright, so, advantage, uh, it's D8 for no inspiration. Thing. Yeah. A D what? Okay. D8. 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 And then, guidance on myself. <laughs> All the buffs. Here we go. Someone's almost like you guys are reading the script. Right? Oh, <laughs> boy. Silent. Yeah. I got your fucking luck, man. <laughs> I can tell by his face he didn't do well. 12 on the dice plus plus 17. Okay. Um, yeah, you know it's you know it's a coastal um, city, and so you locate a large coastal city from orbit, and you decide to go there. Okay. Uh, I'm, I'm making a, I'm making another prediction here. We're gonna end up in Neverwinter. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, if you want to say it's Neverwinter, I was going to go with something else. <laughs> well, you got Neverwinter, uh... At least it's not Barovia. No, Baldur's Gate would be more inland, so it's not going to be Baldur's Gate. Yeah. Uh, uh, Calumsport, I think, is a port city. But it may be a little bit Sounds like it. Because <laughs> it's called Calumsport. <laughs> it's, it's a town by a port. And that just, that could just be the name. No, if, we, if I really need to, I've got the third edition. No, 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 it doesn't matter. Uh, you're just going to live in the wrong city, and then they're going to tell you it's the right city. How uh, to go to the right city. <laughs> so, uh, how are you approaching the city? Somebody had mentioned not. Uh, okay. 
Yeah. Where are you leaving your stick? Uh, is there a port that we can leave our things in? Or? We want to dock there. Somebody had said you didn't want to dock there. We don't want to dock at Waterdeep. Are we going on the outskirts then? We can do that. And then kind of just approach it from the outside. Well, either way, uh, uh, okay. So, what we can do then, if we're not going to actually dock at the port, uh, we're going to walk island, in. Uh, your ship, your ship can meet up with ours. Mm -hmm. uh, we take the dinghies down. We have the go back up after they drop us off. We have the ships. Not, not liking this, but this is the option I'm seeing if we're not going to actually dock at the port. We have dinghies go back up. Does anybody have sent yet? <laughs> so you want to keep the, the ships in orbit, is what you're saying? Okay, I have sending. I, I have sending. We didn't I want have. them to be obviously docked outside okay. of the city that we were going to. So we were going to okay. dock so from another sent. city and walk in with what we had sent. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's make sure we're all on the same page. So, again, I've got sending. So we can reach out to the ship, let them when we need them to come get us. I'm just saying, I'm crowded. They're still going to be outside of town, though. <laughs> Are we comfortable with this? Yeah, drop us off out of town, and then we just walk up and, like, hey, what's up? Yeah. yeah. Okay, then. Now, again, this is metagaming. If I remember correctly, Waterdeep is one of those. Uh, safety weapons type deal. You can't take weapons in a water beat. Is that what you're saying? No, you can. You can. But they basically do like, here's your safety string. Do not break this on your weapon. It needs to stay in the scabbards, uh, sheaths, or no arrows not, what have you. So there's mm -hmm. like a city ordinance, if I remember correctly. No. But again, that's metagame. So I don't know how Brian no. can do this. If I go like this, that's if we're actually in water. Look at the camera. There's a note for pilot. Hi. That's me. I'm the pilot. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. You know as much as I do. Nice. I missed last week. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you waving to? Oh. Rock? Oh! Okay. Yeah, he's actually looking at the camera on the radio. Do you know what you're doing? I'll carry your All right. So you go into town and you're walking down the street. Um, no, there's no such there's no such uh, ordinance. Nobody even met you at the gate. It seems to be a pretty peaceful place. Uh, not a, not a lot of people are even armed. Obviously, the guards have uh, their you know spears, but um, there aren't very many guards. Okay. Uh, but there are people around, so we can confirm that we are in Wardy. No, you're not. You're in Neverwinter. <laughs> All right, back to the ships. Somebody laughs at you, and they tell you how to get <laughs> where. They tell you where Waterdeep is, and so you leave town. All right, and so you do the same thing then at Waterdeep. Yeah. And again, uh, yeah. it seems to be uh, relatively peaceful. Not, not almost nobody is carrying weapons. You see a few, you know, minor nobles uh, in the markets and whatnot that are carrying, you know, almost certainly just ceremonial, you know, jewels on the hilt kind of sword stuff. Um, but everyone, for the most part, seems unarmed, and uh, it's relatively peaceful here. No, why are And so, therefore, very prosperous. Skullport. No, Skullport is beneath Waterdeep. Oh. That's that's basically the uh, that's where the underdwellers go. That's that's the, uh, the cutthroats. Uh, okay, so where are we? Basically, oh, you're it's again. essentially oh, we are large. Just large. Large. thieves, assassins. Okay. Any of the darker 
important aspects of Waterdeep. Like is carpet merchants? Uh, where they, they reside at. <laughs> Merkin merchants? It is a form of carpet. Hmm. Um, <laughs> great, why is Goldport important to you? It's not. Oh. Just throwing names out. Huh. Just to confuse everyone. <laughs> I know this name has to do with Waterdeep. Let me throw this out. Okay. <laughs> now you're uh, walking in Waterdeep when you verify it's Waterdeep. Uh, are you going to locate uh, Carl Newsman? Uh, well, I fear we would locate the, the, the merchant market first and then. What then happened to go to a bar? Carl Newsman. But yeah, essentially, yeah. You're, 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 <coughs> Speed up the process. How about I ask somebody? Yeah. Go to a bar, ask the people, like, hey, I'm looking for some carpet. <laughs> so they got a bar. Right. <laughs> A few uh, patrons in here. It's a big place, but it's divided up into rooms to give it a cozy feeling. And you guys come in the door. You may know which one's the door. The green, right there. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. There you go, because it's got a little hunting over it. <laughs> so you guys come in the door. Who's going in first? I go. <laughs> going online from shortest to tallest. <laughs> <laughs> well, you always let the short one go in first. Exactly. That way, it gets more intimidating. <laughs> so it's me, it's an Ara, it's silent, then the hippo. Yeah. How tall are you? I think it's 5'10. Oh, okay. Yeah. Plus, the ears give you height. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I was thinking I was So, far. six foot? Yeah. My ears. <laughs> the ears oh, are hurt. Oh, oh bunny hurt. ears? Yeah, bunny ears. All right. And there's a guy over in the corner telling stories. Uh,. And, you know, mostly it's about women he knows <laughs> and drinking with uh, three other guys there. Anyone know where I can find some carpet? Because <laughs> I really need some new carpet. <laughs> and uh, that does get his attention. He goes, hey, young lady. Uh, I can fix you up with some carpet. Why don't you just uh, go on over to my offices? And he pops out his card and hands you the card. And he goes, they'll take care of you. Oh, well, this is fantastic. But I, I'd really like to work with you. Uh, no, you know, no, I've got uh, carpet, carpet, uh, carpet dealings pretty much all over the continent now. And uh, I barely, rarely go into the office. Uh, you can just talk to my boys over there. With my card, though, they'll give you the discount. And see, uh, just tell them you're, you're one of my friends. Can I persuade him that he wants to... I'm Anora. <laughs> I don't want to deal with owners. 
on a scale of one to ten, how and, he, and he just and he just goes, uh, I'm telling you, young lady, that's just the way. Uh, yeah, that's the way you're gonna get the best deal on carpet. But you hurry right back here, and uh, I'll buy you a drink afterwards. All right, I'll take that <laughs> deal. I need to go check out some carpet. Okay. How much has the guy had to drink? Uh, he looks like he's been drinking all day, but I'm not that's really what he does to every day. Carpet. I'm just going to make it look like I'm checking out carpet. So he needs more. <laughs> you guys get him drinking. He needs more. So we can celebrate you finding your carpet. Right. Yeah, yeah why don't you boys all have a drink while I go look at some carpet samples? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so then you're going to leave? No, I'm not really going to leave. <laughs> I'm just going to go outside the door and kind of skulk. You're going to go outside and skulk. Perhaps yeah. near the window so that you can hear, you can listen. Yes. And okay. I think we're going to go in and just chat, up, chat him up and, and, and start drinking with him. And you guys are all going to hang around and start drinking with him. I'll wait an appropriate amount of time, whatever it would take me to get to the carpet place. And then come back and go, nobody was there. Nobody was there. Are you in the, are you in the, the, the group next? No, you need to add it. You got it? I see. Yeah. I haven't seen it. What is it for you? Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. He's what? Somebody's sending messages uh, <laughs> telepathically. Uh, telepathic messages. Right, you do that still? Yeah, I still do that. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I was doing oh, shit, baby. Yeah, they won't do that. And he was just nodding. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh -huh. Wait, which one? There's only one. Yeah, there's only one. There's only one what? Uh, we'll have you do the main one. Uh, there's yeah, only one. You cover the main door, Jeremy. The uh. No one. You don't think I'm covering oh, the outside of the door? Yeah, she's there. You got there. the window. Oh, I can see the door, can't I? Yeah. Uh, I'm just going to casually pass, uh, cast, pass without a trace on everybody, just so we're more inconspicuous, <laughs> not trying to draw attention to us. Okay. <laughs> well, we're in a bar, we're doing things, we're, you know. Right, and if you start running down an alley, um, you'll already have it on you. <laughs> okay. Yep. Uh... So uh, this guy here, uh, since you're real close to his cart, he tries starting to sell you, trying to sell you scarves. Ooh, are lovely there any lady, ones? you are interested in <laughs> Abdul's scarves. <laughs> Let me show you a few. Oh, you know Let I me am. Show features. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I'm just gonna let him drape scarves over me while I do my shit. Okay. <laughs> People love to adore me. We're getting this guy drunk. I don't know what his plan is. I'm drinking with 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 Sam Carl. Carl Sam. No, and I'm also trying to keep an eye out for the Rosh Hashanah. You're keeping an eye out for the Rosh Hashanah? Yes. Right. That too. Or any ogres. Or any ogres. Right. Yes. <laughs> I'm doing that too. Because I don't think we should leave ourselves exposed. Drunk. Uh, okay. Uh, Fine, but drinks. Go shop for shop. Yeah. Um, you, he drinks like all the time. Mm -hmm. So... He's going to need a whole bottle. <laughs> He's going to need to chug down a whole bottle. Okay. That's fine. Everybody's drinking. <laughs> They're all drinking. Why do you think I left the bar? Our saves? We'll buy in the heavy stuff. We drink the weaker stuff. Or if you want to drink the heavy stuff too, whatever. And he's like, oh. Try to stay boosted. He's like, hey, you might love my new friends here. Uh, nobody buys Carl Newsmith drinks. Everybody knows I got carpet money. Are you sure you want me to, ha to handle the tab? <laughs> Do I have a shot? I'm sorry, what? Do I have line of sight for a shot? Sure. Yeah. yeah. Through the window? Can I get him in the head? Yeah. Why do you want to hit him in the head? And that guy we're supposed to kill? Yeah. Well, I figure if I just do a headshot and stuff, <laughs> then we can move on. Okay. In broad daylight, in the middle of the bar. Okay, hold the fuck up. There's a bunch of diplomat. Just said, I don't want to murder this person. Do I have a headshot? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Well, maybe he just rubbed off. 
Talk about me, Jeff. We're <laughs> trying to get him drunk, and I'm going to take him back to uh, his home or whatever, and we're going to kill him in an alley. All right. Dragging on a rogue because it's seeming like it. <laughs> All right. Seems like this. I'm Wait gonna a minute. Uh, faster, but okay. Uh, Anara, are you by the window? Yeah. Yes. Oh yeah, my phone. Outside by the window. All right. So we're drinking with uh, with Carl. And a couple other toadies who are obvious um, sure friends of Carl. Running. I'll try to go ahead. Yeah. Make sure I'm within 30 feet of everybody in the party. You are. And I can see them. Yeah. Good. Uh, yeah. Indoors, it's very very small. Okay, I'm sending uh, using my, my, my warlock shit, sending a message to Inara, asking her if she has any type of sleep magic. Do you have any sleep magic? And you can answer, because you can also do the telepathic thing. Pretty sure we got rid of my sleep magic. Pretty sure. I'm paralyzed with hypnotic pattern. She got hypnotic pattern. I have fear. <clears throat> But otherwise, uh, and I have hideous laughter, which could parallel me if I'm funny enough. I mean, if we, one person, if we take him to a secluded alleyway, I can just cast silence, and we can just destroy him in the silence, and then get away. And I got a sword. <laughs> <laughs> I can hit him really, really hard. Just got a sword. Uh, okay, I've got, I've got weapons too, buddy. I got a wall of an arrow. <laughs> a wall of him. That's a wall of all right. That would incapacitate him. Hey, hey, silent. silent. Yeah. Yeah. What's, what's your performance at right now, buddy? My performance is a whopping yeah. zero. Mine's an eight. Guys, we're in the middle of a fucking bar, broad daylight. We're not doing it right here. Nope. You have not been with us. You understand what we've been through. <laughs> Yeah. Is some way to incapacitate him and make it look like he just finally drank too much. What about his well, you have I have darkness and you, silence. You have darkness, you have uh, magic darkness bullshit, uh, no? Uh, I, I can see, see in magical darkness. You can see in magical darkness, great. Sight. You cast darkness, you throw down the portable hole, I'll put him in the fucking hole, we roll up the hole, we fucking leave. <laughs> yeah. I can do hideous laughter like too and incapacitate like him. Okay, Zane. just so you know, anybody with a dagger can destroy your portable hole from the inside. What? You can what? just cut a hole what? in your portable hole. Uh, I mean, I can always just <laughs> steal his weapon off him. What about hideous laughter and I well, paralyze him? Can him a drink? That's a real thing. Yeah. Oh, man. I call bullshit. Why? It's a magic item. Yeah, and it's a bullshit fragile. magic dagger <laughs> is just going to break it. Okay, how about if I do dissident whispers on him, racking him in pain, and then you guys say, we'll take you home. <laughs> you get in there with him and beat him to death. I was going to leave him in the hole. I was just going to dissident whisper him, racking him in pain, and then you guys, oh, you're in pain, let's take you home. Oh, like he has a sudden thing. Yes. With the land, she telepaths back. But I'll dissident whisper him, he'll have a tummy ache, you guys can walk him home. Or to the doctor, but getting him out of the bar either way. Just get him out. I still. Okay. Can, can, like can we not just drink until right. he passes okay. out? I got an idea. Okay. It's a, it's a combination of both Jeff's ideas and Anara's ideas. Okay. Anara, let's have you do the distant whispers, cause him pain. We offer to take him to an apothecary or a Claire, whatever. We get him down an alley, silent. You stun him. Uh, we tie him up. Mm -hmm. We take weapons off of him. Then we put then him, you in put the him in the <laughs> And then we walk right back out of the city. Hmm. Okay, the, the only problem with that is I'm just reading this spell like mm -hmm. and if okay this is why you're supposed to read spell before you suggest <laughs> all right go ahead if he fails to save 
He takes 3d6 psychic damage and must immediately use its reaction if available to move as far as its speed allows away from you. Out the door. Get some outside. Get some outside. Outside. So, I, I'm, okay, I'm still kind of cool with this, but because we're talking telepathically, silent, be ready to run after because you're going to be the fastest one here. You got and it. If you get past that trace going, mm -hmm. it's like, oh, so let the other guy go. All right, doesn't matter. More drinks. So. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta find out. Can he hear me from where I'm at, or can, do I need to come in back into the bar? Yeah, I know. You, if you are talking through the window, he'll hear you. Okay. Yeah, since it's a whisper. Does he have to hear you? It's a whisper. It says a discordant melody that only one creature of your choice within range can hear. Okay. Racking with terrible pain. The target must make a wisdom save and 60 feet is the range. Right, right. And he's the only one that's gonna hear. Yeah. So right. he he's the only one. Do you want to come back in so that he runs? Out and That's what I was thinking. In, if I come to the bar more, yeah, because he could. Since I'm outside of the bar right now, we might want me inside of the bar when I cast this, so he runs out of the bar. I can just step into the bar and do it. I don't have to necessarily make contact with him. I could just rage out and cause a scene, and then you make him run away, and then he's like, "Oh, because the big hippo man is actually not." I that might get the guards called so in. Yeah, we don't guard. Yeah. He just wanted to murder somebody. He's right here. <laughs> yeah. Well, that was for us to take gonna off. Do sneaky, though. I was going to do it sneaky. Okay. Yeah. Slide a hand to stab him in the mouth. I want to know. I'm trying to see if we can actually <laughs> return to Zantra alive with the hopes of getting a bigger reward. Is that part of the deal? No. We're just supposed to kill him. Uh, no, actually, it was a uh, it was a uh, kill him for ten thousand gold pieces and twenty thousand gold pieces if you can return uh, if you can uh, capture his soul. Oh, capture his soul. Yeah. Mm. yeah and I mean, so technically, that would be in his body. body. <laughs> yeah. Um. We did better than capture his soul. Here he is. Well, a hypnotic pattern might work better, except that's not just a certain person. Never mind. I can't just drink one on the table? <laughs> See, that's the thing. When, when you're a professional and you drink all day long, like, you gotta ramp it up. So, you know, if someone puts a bottle in front of you and says, eh, hey, let's go, let's have a good time, even though you've been drinking all day, you have been drinking all day, and if someone pops, plops a bottle in front of you, you still might pass out. Yeah, you're not. Something. Not at all. <laughs> I just had a very, I just had a major. Maybe your grandfather was good. Very thought hit me. Give me a second. One. <laughs> I forgot you're related to it. <laughs> Also, your aunt. Grab that one, too. <laughs> what can I do with minor illusion? That has sound and visual. I have minor illusion. And yeah. you can do basically anything. You mm -hmm. can have a loud noise that rings through his head the whole time and gets a headache. He's like, I gotta go. I'm throwing ideas out at this point. That's true. Minor illusion into nausea. Uh huh. One of us does a really wild effect. <laughs> I'm so for shooting him! I'm okay. still totally for shooting him! Okay, uh, I'm gonna try something before we do anything. I'm offering just going, okay, you have violated the NDA of Ultima. Would when you like to violent. die now? <laughs> Hold on, I'm gonna oh. try something okay. before we do anything uh, to Carl here. I am going to cast Detect Thoughts. Detect his thoughts? Okay. Yes. That's not an area thing, that's a single target, right? Uh, no, I, I think you can use it to scan in front of me. Certain creatures. And then you focus in on one person. Okay. Focus your mind on one creature yeah. so you can see within 30 feet of you. The... If you choose a creature with an intelligence of three or lower, it doesn't speak any language. The creature's unaffected. Well, he 
he clearly doesn't have any intelligence of three or lower. <laughs> Few more drinks, maybe. <laughs> right. Okay. Just keep that in there. Okay. And because I want to try and make this as focus on one grain train at a time or up to a minute. Subtle as, as I can, I'm using a sorcery point uh, to cast this subtle. Okay. I wanted it to be subtle. Um, well, you have to do and say things when you're casting a spell, unless mm. you um, do it subtly and then no one knows you're casting a spell. Oh. And also you can do it when it's silence. Right, and, and so you cast, cast the spell. Be able to cast the spell. Yes. And you're just going to focus on uh, Carl himself. I am going to be first. I wanted to, to read the, the surface thoughts, just try to get an idea of what's currently going through mind that's at the most forefront right now. More beer. Which is probably I'm ready for another drink, but <laughs> maybe not. Maybe something else. Yeah, actually, he's pretty excited about drinking with a goblin and a hippo because uh, his normal drinking buddies usually poop, on, poop out on him long before he's ready to stop. And he, he just assumes because the hippo is big, he can hold his liquor, and he, he just imagines goblins drink all the time, too. <laughs> Yeah. Granted, it's true. Great. <laughs> right. I mean, it's a wrong. <laughs> There's stereotypes for a reason. Okay. It's right. stronger than a dwarf. All right. Okay, so that's uh, my first turn of this because I, I concentrated on this for a minute. So hmm? now Pause. I'm going Pause. to. Pause. Pause. Hold. Start probing his Hold mind. on. Hold on. So with this one, he will need to make a saving throw. Hold on. We paused. Well, we haven't yet. Brock. We're about to. Oh, pause. Yep. Take a break. Oh. <laughs> we are back. All right. And you were reading his mind, and he was just thinking about uh, how much he likes his new drinking buddies. Okay, I can't see the board yet. Oh, it stopped again. I don't know why it stops sharing every time I switch over. So who can communicate in each other's heads? The warlord? Okay. And the bard. And the bard? Okay. Well, I can communicate into anybody's head. Yeah. Okay. And so can he. But the two of you can't communicate back. Right. Right. Other than, you know, subtle gestures and nods. Right. Okay. So. Well, again, uh, um, anything that gets shared between us, let's say, so if I'm talking to, say, Jeff, he gives me an idea, I can send that idea to right. and Hidara. Right, which, uh, is that scarf guy still throwing scarves on me? Which is why yes. I'm probably going to nudge. still trying to get you to buy so, scarves. So, hey, gonna nudge Lester I could really use a sleeping potion. Do you by any chance know where I could get a sleeping potion? So, I'm sorry, but Abdul sells scarves. Uh, I'll buy a scarf if you tell me where to get a sleeping potion. You'll have to go to an apothecary. And where is and the nice deposit? Now he's pissed. He's not talking to you. <laughs> give him a gold really? piece for a scarf. No, no, that's it. He doesn't want to talk to you anymore. <laughs> well, where's the fucking apothecary? Kick him in the shit. I'm about to. Find a local garden. There's got to be somewhere else somewhere. Cause a commotion outside. Everyone will run outside. I got into What do you mean you won't tell me? I want a scarf. Sell me the scarf. <laughs> Yep. You cannot have Abdul scarves. I'm gonna buy your whole cart. <laughs> nope. Not for sale for you. I'm just gonna take them then. <laughs> I'm creating a commotion like yep. you asked. <laughs> You're grabbing an armful of scarves. I am. <laughs> All right, and Abdul's gonna try to grab you. So roll uh, and. Uh, Either, well, you're going to probably do athletics because you're just going to duck out of the way. Acrobatics. I mean, right, acrobatics. I'm sending the Sorry. message to Jeff and Silent. Rabbit <laughs> is about to get arrested for thievery. <laughs> I got a 20. 
He doesn't even get close. He's <laughs> a few too many falafels on Abdul there. <laughs> I'm gonna throw back gold coins. Okay. For the scarves, because I don't steal. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but that will also get the commotion going, because okay. there's gold coins now all over the road. And how many gold coins are you throwing at, at Abdul? Ten. <laughs> and how many scarves did you take? Ten. Yeah. <laughs> Sell this, throw a hundred. Ah, throw a hundred. <laughs> that was a commotion. And are you uh, moving away from Abdul before he tries to grab you again? Yes, I'm gonna hop it. Hippity hop. And you're just gonna hop. You're gonna hop up in the air and throw money. Yep. And we hear this, of course? Yeah. Yeah. Money! <laughs> Free money! <laughs> I look out the window and go, oh shit, there's money. <laughs> 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 I'm trying to persuade, like, persuade the people to run out okay. of the bar. <laughs> Group persuasion. So much for the sleepy potion. You're one to get everybody in the bar and run outside and grab money. Grab free money. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, all right. Um, free money. Free money. <laughs> Can I, can I yell it out with my persuasion? Just to, um, to the whole water feet? Free money! <laughs> just inspire a water team to just swarm that area. Right, right. <laughs> I'm just worried Merc is going to show up now. <laughs> Who? The Merkin dealer? I'll tell later. It's more better knowledge. No. Um, the guy closes to the window, looks out the window and goes, holy shit, there is free money, and he takes off running. <laughs> and then two more guys from over here run and get the thing. But everybody else is like, ah, by the time I get there, it'll be gone. But three guys run out of the bar. Only three. That's it? Three. Yeah. Fuck, I have to do this in some whispers. Anywho. <laughs> Did I find the apothecary when I ran? And then, uh... <coughs> Uh, Carl looks over at Lester and says, with free money, what you do is you inherit a carpet business. Well, that's free money right there. <laughs> <laughs> I know what you mean. Yeah. Says, I've been drinking like this uh, since I got my first pubes. <laughs> and I ain't stopping. Oh, for me, I didn't inherit a carpet business. I inherited a legacy. I'll tell you something. Inheriting a legacy... No money in it. Nobody, no money in it? No money in it. No money in it. You have to earn it. And with that, uh, now I'm going to probe deeper into his mind. Uh, he does get a wisdom save. No. And because this is one of my warlock things, uh, the DC is 15. Okay. I got three. <laughs> okay. All right. That means the spell's still going. Now, the way uh, the spell is worded, uh, I can basically uh, gain insight into his reasoning, if anything, his emotional state, uh, and something that moves large in his mind. That's kind of what I'm looking for. I'm looking for what is he worried about. Um, yeah, you probe deeper into his mind and realize that there, there really is no deeper in his mind. Um, it's, it's pretty much just booze, booze, booze. Um, but, uh, you do get the distinct impression that he uh, is worried about his exaggerations, uh, with his success with the ladies actually be found out. Um, because... <laughs> Due to all of his drinking, he's not quite as prolific as he actually says he is. <laughs> okay. Where are you going? Ah, uh, apothecary. All right. Uh, I'm really going to an apothecary. And buy a city potion. <laughs> okay. All right. So you go over here, and you're gonna just ask somebody where's the apothecary as you run by. Mm-hmm. Or just run. It's water deep. They're not weirded out by people running. 
Yep. Oh. <laughs> so yeah. Which way did the apothecary? <laughs> like I'm in a rush. And somebody just turn. points up here and points to the next left here and you huh? circle around and you find a pocket. <laughs> Fantastic. Alright, let's take a minute together. What are you guys doing? Oh, I'm gonna give her a start. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Creature, uh -huh. and he's returned to his plane uh, of origin. Holy oh, shit, what did he just do? <laughs> and one of goes, Whoa, man, take take it easy. What kind of a hug is that? <laughs> what happened to him? He's, he's gone. Oh, all right, he'll be back tomorrow. Happens all the time. Where the fuck did he go? <laughs> he comes back, he'll come back tomorrow. Happens all the time. You guys still buying drinks? I mean, He's paying. He said he was gonna pay for us. So we, you, you get him when he comes back. Right, but we're still drinking with you. So I was curious if you're still buying drinks or not. <laughs> what do you do for a job? We are. We are. We are. I got some questions for you. I've known Carl since he was a boy. I want to know his story. I've known Carl since he was a boy. We we used to play in the carpet warehouses. And then, um... Okay. Uh, Alright, let me know if I need to do a persuasion check at all. Uh, I do have that as a skill. Um, so yeah, basically just saying that he was entertained. And saying that I enjoyed drinking with him. That was a good guy. It's, I mean, I like drinking with my buddy here. And I point to the hippo. He's like, the hippo can drink. Can drink. The hippo really good at drinking. Yeah, I forgot. We, we like to drink, and he don't want to be able to keep up with me. But that guy, that guy just, he, 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 him. I want to drink with him. We, we didn't finish our drink yet. I need to know how good he is. It's just, it, you know, this happens all the time. Somebody walks in the door, throws a dagger in his face, boop, he disappears, comes back tomorrow, we start drinking again. I'm just curious, though, if you're going to be buying the next round of drinks, Cause I, I didn't bring any money with me. Actually, I, I put uh, 10 gold on the, on the counter. All right, and the bartender comes over because the waitress refuses to go to Carl's table. Uh. <laughs> and he says, yeah, I can bring you 10 gold worth of drinks. Uh, I'll just uh, keep making trips over here until uh, you've used up your money. How much is that? Sounds good, perfect. <laughs> and like, yeah, I'm just gonna keep, 
Well, if you're just drinking beer, there are no shots. I mean, how, how, how far can 10 gold get us? <laughs> At least 100 shots of the finest uh, bourbon that they had. We're fine. We're good. <laughs> and he's throwing in beer uh, on top of it. So he's bringing over 10 beers and 10 shots, and he just keeps walking back and forth across the room. And then we'll never They're starting to pile up on the table. <laughs> All right. Shows up uh, what did you want to buy? Drinks. Somebody comes in and kills him. But then he comes back the next day. This this is a, a common occurrence. Oh yeah, a bunch of people just uh, you know, like I heard what you're saying about my sister, crossbow, or you know, uh, my mom isn't a whore, you bastard. Sword in the chest. This is happens all the time. <laughs> Uh, you mean like you want something to help you sleep at night? Yeah, it's like I just lay there and I can't sleep, so I just need something that will just put me right to sleep. Right to sleep. It's It's okay, okay. I think I know what you need. (laughs) Uh, It's made by the Drow. Okay. Yeah, and it's relatively expensive. How expensive? Three gold pieces, uh, but um, (sighs) for the bottle, but I mean it'll knock you out, uh, you know, seven nights in a row. Here's five. <laughs> okay, thanks. And a scarf. Why, why, oh, are you flaunt, thanks. why is everyone flaunting their money around? Is there a hundred gold here? <laughs> just throwing it, yeah. Because yeah, then I'm remembered. <laughs> <laughs> That's not a good thing. I'd like to be remembered. <laughs> I'm not used to not being remembered. So, uh, the, uh, the guys are, uh, are, uh, seem to be uh, bogarting the shots. Uh, and, 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 you know, sipping at the beers, um, but, you know, they're sneaking a few extras. That's perfectly fine. So does that mean that this guy is created nice, every day them, when he's summoned? That's fine. I want them nice and lubricated. I want them talking. Oh, okay. Yeah, they seem very targeted. Okay. Again, just let me know if at any point I need to roll that persuasion. I'm ready for it. Uh, so <laughs> I'm no longer concentrating on the detect thoughts because... Uh, He's gone now. Yeah, he's poofed away. Okay, so... Oh, so he hit negative hit points. Oh, zero. All right. Yeah. But this is actually this actually works for us. We're going to have to come back again tomorrow. But that means if we yeah, try to kill him, he's going to just again. poof. And I'm going to do my detect thoughts again to see if I'm trying to figure out where the hell he's actually at. So the only way that he poofs is if he gets to negative hit points. So if we find a way to kidnap him and take him back alive, because there's no way to kill him, he'll just poof. Well, if he also if you use detect thoughts when he is when he comes back, we can ask him, that's a cool trick. Where'd you learn something like that? And then if you're detecting thoughts, you can figure out where he is potentially and get more information out of him that way. Perfect. Because I'm going to be very convincing with this. Again, this is a man coming for him tomorrow. Uh, because I actually want to use it myself. Because there are definitely people that are not happy with me. <laughs> Maybe specifically. That, uh, that, that would definitely come in handy for a guy like me. For a guy like me. He basically just went to another plane. And if you pop out of existence, where do you set yourself to repop back in? I'm kind of curious if it's easy to do or, you know, just kind of get information out of just anything. Exactly. Yep. Okay. Uh, but at the same time, since we're still lubricating these guys up with drinks, I'm going to try to get, <coughs> might get, get the information out of them where they might suspect he may be, too. Again, it's Somebody's got to know something about it. In this city, it may be large, but somebody knows something. Okay. And at the very least, they can point us in a direction that could lead us to somebody who does know a little more. Oh, well, he's not going to come back question, for 24 hours. Now, the one big question I have is... People that have come in and done this, it's always been 
angry family members, jealous lovers, people of that ilk, or has there been something else? Uh, no, I'd say that's pretty much it. I mean, uh, you know, when we were younger, people thought maybe they would rob him, but as soon as they stab him, then his purse disappears. <laughs> And then, you know, they're like, give me your money or I'll stab you. And he just says, well, stab me then. What are you waiting for? He's been doing this for years. Oh, since, since we started drinking here, yeah. As teenagers. Well, not my cousin. He just he just moved into town a couple years ago. But me, me and Carl, we've been drinking here for... <sighs> Eight, nine years, maybe? Did it take him 24 hours to come back? Uh, he's, I mean, he did, always shows up the next day. By the time I wake up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I gotta look another spell. So, from what I'm reading, it takes 24 hours for him to reform when they hit the zero hit points. Uh, Does anyone have, like, like some big creature or fine person? He they, summoned. Yeah, so big poop. Who summoned him? They poof when they hit zero. Right. But and someone takes summons them back. 24 hours to reform according to this. Could have a doppelganger of himself. It says, some yeah. creature also goes away if it's killed or it hits well, points I mean, dropped to zero or lower. Uh -huh. But it's not really dead. It takes oh. 24 hours for the creature to reform, <laughs> which time it can't be summoned again. Oh. Who said that? Uh, it's the internet? She's cheating. The internet! <laughs> I was looking at some creatures in the D&D books. Yeah, that, that sounds like... Yeah, I don't know what you're reading, though. Hey, those are only guidelines. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh, you know, because you might be reading some yeah. P5 or some 4th edition or something like that. Okay. Well, we got to find the real head. Yes. So... So I'm going to go look at carpet. I mean, we can always go to the carpet shop and ask about him more and see maybe if we can get where he lives out of somebody. Or these guys who drink with them every day. Clearly, they're not going to give us any more information. All right. Yeah, I missed that. Yeah. We leave. They're dodging bullets. Yeah. Any questions? Yeah. <laughs> and he says, "Okay, well, we're going to go ahead and try to finish most of your drinks, if that's okay." Oh. Only if I get to throw you out that window. Can you explain the window? How many of them died? There's no need for that. <laughs> this is what happens when you drink with a gift. Someone gets thrown out the window. <laughs> wow, man, I don't, I'm not familiar with gifts. <laughs> uh, I, yeah, that's cool, man. I, I, I'm good for the day. I'm, I'm good for the day. So you know? I, I don't, I don't want to get thrown out the window. Oh. Well, then I pick up my tangle or his tangle, whatever's left. What, like. Yeah. Bartender, keep this for yourself. And I grab Lester and throw him out the window. <laughs> Lester, you're getting thrown out of the window. I get thrown out of the window? Yeah. Yeah, make an acrobatics check to avoid damage. <laughs> Bartender, that covers the window, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, they're not. It's not a glass window. It's oh. just like oh, just shutters. Over. I thought it was a glass yeah. window. Just he has, to, you know, not, he has to, like, not hit the shutters <laughs> on the yeah. way through. How'd you do? Your athletics check? I'm sorry, acrobatics check? What are those? <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot. <laughs> He's a lame goblin. <laughs> <laughs> well, you have to make an acrobatics check to see how much damage you take when you throw a dragon. Are you good though? Sure. Right, give me a second, give me a second. Maybe I can Very catch him. Uh, oh shit, I got 17. Yeah. Oh, oh, you're good. I got a 26 on thrower. Yeah, you land in the scarves and roll out, and Abdul starts. This is not Abdul's day. Abdul is going home. <laughs> but you get the impression that he made enough money off that last transaction. <laughs> he just starts picking his stuff up and stuffing it in a bag. What happened? You make a cliche merchant, dude. Very <laughs> good. Right, so um, I don't take any damage because I just land in uh, the scarves. Yeah. You're good. Sweet. I get up and I say, again! <laughs> again, again. All right, and you guys oh, decide to come out? 
Uh, you meet Anara coming back from the apothecary. Oh my god, the sleeping potion you asked for. Yeah, and she and she basically has a, a, a seven dose bottle of uh, drow poison. It will knock you out. Mm. Alright. Well, he, he's gone. Huh? What do you mean he's gone? Uh, I tried to give him a hug. And then he went poof. How hard did you hug him, Jeff? Pretty hard. <laughs> Yeah? Yep. You I look out for rock sauces. So, so he's... What about the rock sauces? I look out for lo- the rock sauces. Oh, I thought you saw him. <laughs> Looks everywhere. All right, well then, uh, he's summoned. Perception check? Yes, he's We done. should go check out carpet look. samples. See if they know him. Is he here? <laughs> I want to look out. Let's go to the carpet store. Okay, everybody's going to the carpet store? Yeah. All right. I have a need for carpets. And I have a discount. You have the, the discount owner. card. <laughs> You're going to get the, the ship carpeted. <laughs> then you should talk to Pirate. All right. And you, uh, 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 you walk into, um, it's a very, very big building, but it's a very small room with, uh, you know, just like the order desk. And there's lots of samples on the walls, mm-hmm. right? And then on the counter itself. And there's a very grumpy looking dwarf woman there. Hello. What do you want, bunny? <laughs> bunny? <laughs> bunny. Oh, bunny. I have an appointment with Carl. <laughs> You're in the wrong place. There's this bar about six blocks from here. <laughs> Just go there. No, no, he gave me his card and told me to meet him here. I doubt that. I haven't seen him in two weeks. <laughs> well, that's awfully strange. Maybe he's going to show up. You're welcome to wait. All right. There are no chairs or anything. <laughs> I'll just sit here and hop. <laughs> I'm loath to do it because war. Detect thoughts. No, oh, no. <laughs> I can do it. And uh, use your sorcery point again. Uh, I can do it. And subtly. He didn't hear me. No, he's already he's already doing it. Right, and she's thinking, oh, another one of Carl's floozies misunderstood what he said. There's no way he's going to be here this week. What was that that about this week? There's no way he's going to be here. There's no way he's going to be here? All right, then. Uh, So the next six seconds, I'm going to try and probe deeper, and I'm looking to see if the dwarf knows where he actually is. And, and, and then she goes, she shakes her head real hard like this and goes, what the hell? And you don't get anything after that. Fucking dwarves and their dead skulls. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, so I share the little bit of information and that she, I got. And she just, looks over, <laughs> she, just, she just looks over at you guys in general and goes, you ever feel like there's somebody just like clawing at your brain? All the time. <laughs> All the time. Yeah, I hate that. So many <laughs> goblins. <laughs> it's goblins. They got like goblins. Claw, claw. Hey, buddy, were you clawing at my brain? <laughs> I pull out a bottle. Can you tell me when Carl might be oh. returning? You know, last time Carl showed up, uh, we were an hour late running his allowance over to the bar. And uh, he came down immediately because the bartender uh, cut him off. And, uh, you know, uh, we explained that he passed the messenger on the way there with his bag of gold. And then uh, he said, don't do it again. And then turned around and went back to the bar. So if Carl's not at the bar, where would he be? Because he wasn't at the bar. As far as I know, he's always at the bar. He usually just sleeps there. Really? Yeah. That's not what he told me. I I heard he has an apartment. (laughs) 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 But normally he just drinks until he falls over and then the the bartender puts him in the back room. Hmm. He has an apartment. Where's his 
apartment. I don't know. I ain't going back to that sleaze balls apartment with him. Mm. Are you? <laughs> Well, that depends on what the sea's ball offers me. <laughs> That's a good way. That's a good way to get in the door. Mm -hmm. That is a good way. <laughs> Find out where he lives real quick. I mean, there must be some kind of payroll. Does he have any packages shipped uh, here? Like, wh what is, where can we find his address? I'm you know in desperate need. <laughs> no, I, all, I mean, I've been here for five years, and all I've ever heard was he was at the bar. If you need, uh, you need Carl, go to the bar. The only uh, district his apartment is in? Probably close to the bar. <laughs> is his father still alive? Yeah. No, no, no. Mr. Mr. Newsmith died over a decade ago. Mother? Uh, no, no, never, never heard of a mother. Yeah, he's siblings. No, no, just Carl. Just Carl. Yep, he owns the entire business. Really? Yep, over 6,000 employees. Oh my gosh, no, I have Installers, clerks, <laughs> warehouse managers, all across the continent. Wow. How does he keep all that straight? To, uh, he doesn't. <laughs> yeah. Which is this. Worse. I don't like to keep a damn mouth shut. <laughs> so as long as he gets his drinking money, he doesn't really care what happens. And how often does that get sent to the bar? Uh, oh, daily. And did you send it today? Yes. <laughs> this line of questioning is not helping us at all. Obviously. <laughs> I'm running it on Mason. Is this the main no, office? Uh, yeah, I guess. I guess this would be the main office. Does that shag All the big accountants are upstairs. Does that shag come in a green? Yeah, it comes in every color. <laughs> <laughs> Does it come long? That's as long as it goes. Mm. I like a longer shag. <laughs> <laughs> but we do a lot of commercial buildings, so it's not practical. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah, you probably want to go to like a uh, like a bed, bath, and boudoir, <laughs> or your kind of carpet. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I made you my car off the carpet, and then she thinks nothing else, and Lester would hear it. <laughs> No, you, you just got Home Depot. Home Depot, big dog. <laughs> you know, it looks like you're a contractor that installs carpets, so she's all just like, whatever, one, <laughs> one sale customer. Sad as Never mind. <laughs> so, Zandra said that he would be just here in Waterdeep. He was from Taurus. Toro Waterdeep, yeah. He's from Toro. Waterdeep. Okay. All the information that Zontra gave us. Gotcha. Well, this is the main office. There's got to be the record of all the employees here somewhere. Maybe there's an address. So you want me to, like, distract her? Like, tell her a joke or something? I don't know where it is. That's the Do you want to send a message to, uh, uh, to, to Carl and be like, hey, where the fuck did you go? We did, we did actually spend a good amount of time with him, so we do know him. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. He should be able to send to him. Mm. So long as he's on this plane of existence. He's not. But there's only 5% <laughs> chance of failure. Only 5% chance of failure. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. I'm, I'm game to try it. Alright, what's the message you sent to uh, Carl? Okay. I'm not as horny. <laughs> Not much <laughs> <laughs> Wait, my dear response. <laughs> okay. Anara Tapi? Hey, buddy. <laughs> Where did you go? We still have plenty of drinking left to do. 
There is funny woman asking about you. There you go. Hubba, hubba. <laughs> and you just get back, I'm sleeping it off, leave me alone. Drink tomorrow. What about body woman? <laughs> <laughs> You're telling me when you hit your head squoze, the hangover <laughs> kicks in. <laughs> yeah, I don't send him anything more. Uh, ask one time he wants to meet tomorrow. Okay, I am not playing the game game for you. <laughs> <laughs> That's not what I'm talking about! Oh my god, I just want to kill the fucker! <laughs> okay, uh We need to go back to the ship. You gonna stay the night here and have Roshana come? I'm <laughs> just one level higher. One level higher. I can have scrying. Oh. Hmm. Does that work on I don't think that works on different planes. Mike. That's it. No, same plane of existence as you know. Okay. Okay, you know what? I don't even know why I didn't think about doing this. Before. I have a whole person. We could have just used that on him. Yeah, but he still would have pooped. Mm. I'm not a whole okay. person, he wouldn't have gone to a negative. That's the only thing that poops him, taking him to a zero points. You oh. basically kill them. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm going to, before I do this, bring this to the table. I am contemplating doing ascending to Zantra. See if Zantra can provide more intel as to what plane Carl Newsmith is actually on because he doesn't appear to be on the material plane. Yay or nay? I mean, it could get some information. Okay, it could also contract. get the reply of, I hired you guys to find him. To find him. <laughs> That's what he did. <laughs> is, yeah. is he dead? I mean, Sandra's read a lot of stuff in this pretty small potatoes, and it's yeah. been a couple of weeks since you've been talking to him. <laughs> yeah, I don't think he said anything to Zantra. I think we have to wait until tomorrow. Didn't, didn't you come to an agreement on how long it will be before he sent somebody else out on the same bounty? Damn, no. Well. I don't even remember you mentioning that, honestly. Well. Because I don't have anything in my notes about it. Hmm. All right. He just said, I got a contract for you guys. Do you want it? We said yes. Went from there. Yeah, you're right. And I, and I, think, I think he said uh, no hurry. Yeah, I think you mentioned that it was going to take you a little extra time. And he was just like, whatever. Zantra was pretty chill. That's unheard of. Small action of not unheard of. Large Luigi is pretty chill, too. Large Luigi is jovial. Zantra just looked busy. <laughs> so I think the... He had a lot of papers. <laughs> He's a busy beholder. <laughs> All right, so are we going to get a room for the night? Because I, I need a shower and a change. So I think the soul capturing is actually more plausible than actually finding him. Uh -huh. One in 400 chance, go. Right.
<laughs> no, there was no in uh, above that bar, um, and uh, the dwarf said that uh, the that the bartender just puts him in a cot in the back, um, and lets him sleep it up. Why don't we feel he's there? At the bar? Mm-hmm. Where he wasn't there. In the back, sleeping oh. it off. Maybe he just like poofed to the back of the bar? Yeah. Okay. And he's sleeping it off. <laughs> so you're gonna go back to the bar, make sure he's not there. Yeah. Okay. And then ask about an end from there. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, you go back to the bar, uh, you look through the whole bar. Um, the bar doesn't even have any like private worker areas. Like they just, like the storage is right there on the wall and they just serve the drinks and people That's bring them in the and take the empties away. Um, yeah, there's a little cot in the back, uh, right, and it has like a, you know, no at the top <laughs> above it. Okay. So he's not here. Uh, do you know where we could get lodging for the night? He says, yeah, right across the street. Uh, you, there's, a, there's a nice little um, inn over there. Um, and uh, they even have a... Uh, Private room, uh, private apartments. If you uh, want to, you know, um, stay for a few days. Nice. Set yourselves up. All right. What's your referral bonus from the from the hotel across the street? Um, How much do you, you get for everyone you send over? You right? know, I, usually they just come back the next day to drink more, so I don't really worry about it that much. Um, but I'm, obviously, if the guys down the street offer me money to send you down the street, I might, but. And you might go to a different bar, so I'm hoping you, uh, you guys just stay right across the street so you'll come back er, tomorrow. Well, I really liked that Mai Tai, so yeah. Okay. You just, uh, if, you come by, uh, if you come by for dinner time, uh, you know, I have them bring in uh, meals. So, you know. Just and then make the food like and bring it here? Yeah, it's food a food cart. cart. Like a food cart? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was just thinking. Food horse cars. Yeah. <laughs> so he's a bar that doesn't have food, but they have they, a they bring oh, food trucks. They have a park a food truck behind the building oh, every day. Yeah. Actually. They have a different food truck every day. So. Yeah, the Wednesday night one is good. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> I might start going to Wednesday night trivia. One of my passengers last night owned a corn dog food truck. <laughs> <laughs> Supposedly the best corn dogs in town. <laughs> I wouldn't know I've never had a corn dog. <laughs> You're not gonna start now. I'm gonna start now. That one's still uh, okay, so you guys go and uh, you talk to the inn owner here. Okay. And uh, he says, Well for the four of you it probably makes the most sense to rent one of our apartments next door. Um, that's just um it's uh, ten silver or uh, one gold piece. Uh, for the for a night, um, uh, if you rent it for a full week it's only fifty six silver. Which is two gold pieces? No. <laughs> Five gold and six silver. And so that's the apartment for a week? Yeah, 56 silver for a week. And it's got enough room for four? Yeah. Including uh, Biggie there. <laughs> You're a big one, son. Any big one is a big one. <laughs> Let's take it for a week. We'll take it for a week. Okay. <laughs> All right, so you guys uh, go over to your uh, little apartment here next door. Can we see the bar? Yeah, you can see the bar from your window. Perfect. What if our neighbor's him? <laughs> <laughs> <That'd be hilarious. coughs> so you're gonna you're gonna kind of set up here so you can see out the window. Yep. And uh, just kind of glance over once in a while just to see what's going on over there. Pretty much. Okay. Right. <laughs> And then uh, right around dinner time, uh, you see this guy pull up with a cart. He's got a whole bunch of, uh, you know, plates with a silver tray over the top of them. And he goes in and... Charger plates. Yep. Comes back out and grabs all the plates and carries them back in. Did you, did you want to get some food? Do we want food? <laughs> yes, we eat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, Jeff runs across the street. <laughs> Blame me! Give me your food! <laughs> Have my dog cart. <laughs> right, and uh, it's pretty good meals. They're one silver piece. Jeff wants two. Okay. <laughs> okay. Everybody buying new? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Track your fucking stuff. 
<laughs> no, normally you just have one person say, oh, here's a gold piece, I'm buying all the meals. All right, got it. Come on. Just buying. Just buying. <laughs> and you know why I have so much money. I was like, dude, I bought the drinks, I paid for the apartment. You bought the sleeping potion. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> You bought the sleeping potion. Which we can still use. Okay, uh, so what time are we going to go back to the bar? As soon as we see him. Later. <laughs> as soon as we see him. Kind of keep an eye out and see what direction he comes from. He might just poof back into the bar. He might. There's always a chance he might not. He just walks uh, yeah. back in. That's true. I'm also keeping an eye out for Rush Shaw. Because of the threat of the Rakshasa, I think we should uh, have a watch. Yep. Period. Mm -hmm. oh, I thought that's what I was doing. Okay, so you're taking first watch? Yeah. <laughs> and you're watching for ogres, a Rakshasa. Okay. And Carl. You know, I only need four hours, so. I only need four hours. Really? What's yeah. that? Watch. Because of. Sword of Sour Milk? Sword of Sour Milk. That's right. Wicked. Wicked Sword of Sour Milk. Nova Trance and Druidic. Oh. So, right, you need to sleep. You need to sleep. Fucking sleep. Me and him got it. Alright, I'll go sleep. Don't have to argue do with me. Bird Inspiration so I can use it for looking. You can do it! I yeah. know you can! <laughs> Okay, and who watches first? Uh, you wanna go first? I can go first. All right. <laughs> okay, so the uh, second person make a perception check. Oh, that's me? Yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, inspiration? I think I'll the last like 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. right. uh, perception. Um, I 19 total. No, nothing happened when you were watching. Okay. Uh, it, it just about dawn, uh, you see uh, an ogre. Uh oh. The next. And you see him walk out I from this alley and look around and then walk back. Oh shit, he's got reinforcements. Behind the ogre. not good. Huh. You know, TNO got reinforcements. What? TNO is the planet he's from, trolls and ogres. Oh, okay. Mm hmm And he probably went and got more reinforcements. And that's why he wants a sword, because the sword is used to rule... Yeah, the sword rules planet. the trolls and the ogres. Not whoever wields the sword rules. Oh, shit. Yeah, yeah, which is why we said you would want to go rule. Yeah, we should send you to the Tina. When you weren't yeah, here, we were trying to guess orders. what you would want. <laughs> <laughs> we're like... He but, totally want to go roll! But I have it, so I roll. <laughs> okay, exactly. Yeah, you have to go there with it to roll. <laughs> yeah, that sounds awesome. See, he told you! <laughs> he want to go roll! <laughs> All right, so if we see an ogre, let's just uh, go to TNO. <laughs> I have the sword. So, uh, 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 right after uh, you see the ogre duck behind the, the building, um, then it gets pretty busy, right? The early market things, you know, people are like buying for restaurants and stuff like that. So uh, the market's already bustling. Um, the luxury goods like Abdul, they'll show up a little later, but at dawn, uh, it's already crowded out in the street. Okay. All right. And then that's when you notice uh, uh, from over here, you see uh, Carl coming around the corner. And Carl still looks a little wobbly. <laughs> But he's headed for the bar. Okay, at least now we know what direction he's coming from. That's a start. Is everyone awake? I wake them up. Okay. Alright. Guys! There was a there was an ogre and Carl. Male or what what kind of ogre? Was it female? Was it ugly? Can you really tell? <laughs> Yeah, the females have boobs. Oh, I didn't see any of those. So the males, this means he's had an ogre. He's got reinforcements. That's not good. But hey, Carl's right there. Oh, Carl! 
Oh, fantastic. I want you to talk to him about that green shag. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, Carl's heading towards the bar if you guys are going to stand around and talk. Do you, do you, are we going to go intercept him and just kind of like, That's, hey, yeah. we're real cool. let's go back. Let's take this show on the road. <laughs> I like that plan. Yes, yeah, so yeah. we're going to run out. Carl, I'm so sorry. Oh, I'm all night for you. I'm so sorry. I, just, I hugged you so hard. Well, I thought it would be a fun thing to oh, do. Oh, he's I doing mean, it, not yeah. me. Well, fucking you're not. Why would you run out of a giant hippo? So you wake everybody up and oh, run out the door so you can get to Carl before he goes yeah. in the thing. Got a bottle again? I thought, you know what? Bar was fun. I thought we should go um, walking today. We would just go, like, get some scenery, see what shenanigans we could get into. <laughs> <laughs> Sniper on the roof. <laughs> when you step outside, oh shit! Up on the roof of this building, you see a, a huge rock chasm. I was gonna say, I like to... if you know anything about rock chasms, that was huge. And he says, Jeff, give me my sword. Uh, no. Hey guys. <laughs> yeah, that's California. Ah, uh, okay. That's California. <laughs> yeah. That's what I've been trying to avoid. Oh. Well, they're here now. They are. That's and so is the reinforcements. Good lord. Wait, how can he rule? He doesn't have the sword. <laughs> yeah, you should rule. You should take yeah. over them. You should tell them. Hey, you stop. say, I am the ruler of all trolls and ogres. I wield the sword. All right, and you notice that there are several og ogres coming from each direction, including one one really mean-looking, half-naked dude over here. Hmm. Oh, is that okay? Um, the the girl one. No. no. <laughs> so, uh, what you, what, what's your plan? He, he talked to you, so... You, uh, you yeah. Know. I say, go fuck yourself. <laughs> my sword. And, uh... Friends told me a little bit about this. Hey, guys, I think I rule you. Kill that guy. <laughs> 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 And, um, but you're just going to stand there in the street? Thing? He's trying to tell the ogres that he's in charge. And you go towards that bar, towards the apartment. Yeah, I'm going to deck in. I'm going to run into the bar. Uh, Where's three. Carl? You're very fast. Just run into the bar. <laughs> okay, and then that's when we'll roll for initiative. Say Morty Hound. 
wording thing? Nobody's catching the reference, so I'll go ahead and just explain it. <laughs> okay. Why is Watchtower that how could ogres be surrounding us? I had Morning Kind's faithful hound up. Oh, okay. No, sorry. No. Don't know that one. <laughs> Nobody gets it. Nope. Sorry. Moving on. <laughs> My genius is wasted. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. No problem. Let me go get water real quick. Be right back. Okay. Use the restroom. Right. Oh, well. You go first and you go second. This is, okay, cool. <laughs> 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 you get a pizza. I need to stop rolling. I just I rolled three 20s already. You're oh wasting all your 20s? Yeah. <laughs> I gotta stop rolling. I'm wasting all You're my You're wasting luck. all your luck. Yeah. 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 Uh, I'm assuming the mac and cheese was in the car pot. Yeah, or there's um, a small container in the refrigerator in case they took the crock pot. But evidently they didn't. Make sure you heat it up. Do you have water or anything? Yeah, and in the little drink fridge, there's a whole bunch of sodas and stuff. Yeah. Did you want them? Yeah, I don't know something. why you don't drink it all the juice. Right, right. I'm letting you run low, though, because I'm going on vacation next week. I'm just going to Okay, help yourselves. Thank you, thank you. Appreciate it. Alright, I'm back. Yeah, yeah, what the hell? They took they took all the food. Oh, they took the food? N- not that one. There's a smaller one of mac and cheese. <laughs> and then there's also three Italian sausages. Okay, I just make Tyler dinner now. I just make dinner for Tyler now. I know it is. Nobody else gets to eat. Bear, you're not finding me? Y'all are here. I don't see the. Oh, there it is. Okay, it's your turn or not. You said it's my turn? Mm-hmm. And, uh, you know, Jeff blurted out, there's Ron and Sasha on the building, we're surrounded by ogres, and he ducked into the bar. And I'm still up in the room? You're still in the room, yeah. I thought I came out when I saw it. Uh, no. Uh, he decided to try and intercept Carl, so he had to run out immediately before Carl got to the... Still only, like, 60 feet there. Or 40 feet. So he ran right out. Speaking of. So you, you, you can be right behind him, but right behind him is now. <laughs> and where, how far away are all these ogres? That far. Um, I mean, you can't see outside, but. If I was outside, <laughs> in the middle of the square, how far away would all the ogres be? <laughs> Each square is five feet. Count. So 30 feet to Terrock and 40 feet to the guys behind him, and if you were there in this door, there would be 50 feet to this guy and 60 feet to this guy, and then this guy would be 10, 20, 30, 40, 45 feet and 55 feet to those two. All right, so i got to pick one section. All right, so uh, I'm going to get out there to the Toro section. Okay, so you go one, two, three, and you look around. And you see, you see that guy coming around the corner there. But you see these guys down here on the right and these guys on the left. And I'm going to do calm motions towards the torque group. Towards the torque group. Mm-hmm. Okay. Doing calm motions is one person. Though. Nope. Group. Attempt to suppress strong motions in a group. A group. Mm-hmm. And they have to do charisma saving throws, mm-hmm. which you know they're terrible. Oh yeah, that's what you did on the other one. Yeah, and it looks like all of them just calm down now. They've just said. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna do the make them indifferent. Drop their their weapons to their sides, and they're just kind of looking around at the people passing by. Awesome. They're just people watching now. Yep. GG. But uh, we don't want them to witness their friends being harmed <laughs> because that would take them out of their calm. <laughs> 
All right, uh, you're currently blocking the door. Do you want to duck back into the room or are you going to go out into the street? I'll duck back in. Okay. I'll just be here next to the door. And be like, I calm that group. I'll try to keep them calm. All right, Lester, you were in the back room there. I don't know what you were doing, and I'm not asking. It's up to a, it's up to a minute. But you're about um, 20 feet from the door. 15 feet from the door, sorry. 15 feet from the door. How many stories is this, uh, is this in? Uh, two or three? No, no, it's just one. Yeah. Oh, one story? Yeah. All the buildings in this area are pretty much one story. He's flying. No, he's not. He's just standing on top of that building. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's what I was asking. Uh, yeah. So he's up, you know, like, with 10-foot ceilings. I mean, they're roomy, room, the roomy buildings. So a 10-foot ceiling and, you know, maybe a tiny crawl space attic kind of thing. He's about 16, 18 feet above the street right now. regular move is 16. That's going to put you almost at the doorway. So it would be out in the open? No. <laughs> you can run right over there and stand next to Jeff. It's less than 60 feet. Alright, perfect. Go ahead and do that. And then for the hasted action... Actually, am I able to ready an attack action with that? 
No. Yeah, I don't think you can ready. For my haste action, I say. Say for my haste action, I'm gonna look up and say, "I got you covered, buddy." <laughs> and I'm done. And you're gonna go stand over there next to Jeff. Yep. All right, that brings us to Sarah. Hello. Um. So I am. I do so they're all calmed. Which ones are not? Are they all? And these guys over here were calmed down. Okay. And then everybody else is over here on that side. Uh, I am going to go ahead and... And several of those bystanders. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it didn't hurt them, did it? I'm going to bonus action Just hide. like I got everybody stoned. <laughs> and then I'm going to attempt to actually join them over on that side. You're going to go over there with those guys? No, oh, no, no, no. You're going to go across the, the thing. Safety in numbers. <laughs> Your movement is? 55. Oh. All right. And you're going to hide so that they won't know you're over there. Well, they won't know that I'm even going across. Yeah, trying to anyway. He's going to duck underneath the fruit stand. Exactly. Roll across the street. Uh -huh. <laughs> Jive behind the scarves. Yep. Uh, okay, tall uh, Go ahead and roll with disadvantage. Mm. Ah, but I also have the Cloak of Elven Kind, which allows me to roll with advantage. Would that be a straight roll? Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> uh, 26. Elvish trickery. I like it. Oh, wait. Hang on. Uh, 29. <laughs> 29. <laughs> so, uh, by strolling across the street looking like an uh, uninterested shopper, uh, <laughs> even a little rushing. <laughs> you you back into the to the bar across the street. Yep. And I will. I guess I'll just hold an action to stab whoever the first person is that tries to come through the door. <laughs> So, well, not the first person. Seven. Oh, here they come through the dark. That first anyway, because right, it's probably going to be. Uh, uh -oh. oh no! It's not me. Well, yes, but you have to fix it. <laughs> I'm waiting for him to just come back. I'm hoping he'll just come back. Well, this happened. Check the internet connection a little. That's fine over there. Says we're good. Sure, it's not him. Good to him, but you know, I mean, you had a problem with that right now. I'm gonna here. disconnect and rec. Oh, if, no, we're not live. I can do that. Disconnect and reconnect, and then reconnect him. It's not disconnecting. Call him back. No, there's something wrong there. It won't even click on anything. Like, like I'm clicking and there's, it's doing nothing. Like the computer from? But the mouse is moving. Oh, yeah. So it's not, but see, look. Oh. There, I got that. All right, maybe it's the stupid mouse. All right, I'm gonna try to call him. See what we get back. Hey, Tennessee is calling. Is that where he is? Yeah. Hello? I'm talking low because every time we do this, I have to be loud. <laughs> <laughs> you can become on super loud and then he quiets down. I don't know what he's Yeah, okay. I don't know what that is. Uh, so, uh, yeah, I don't know what that was. We just lost you. Everything else is fine. Yeah, that was, that was bizarro. All right, don't you scream every I'm working on it. The oh, mouse is... Talking. No, I do not like your mouse. Just saying. I don't. You got two. start talking normal yet? I gotta share the screen. Yeah, yeah, you're fine. It was only like the first four or five seconds. I gotta reshare the screen. Yep. Okay. Give me this 
Sharon. Share it. He should be able to see us now. Got it. Great. We're back. Sorry about that, folks. And silence over there in the uh, tavern with... Uh, oh, did you miss that? Time. He nonchalantly just went across and no one noticed him. <laughs> but I caught that part. That was the last bit I caught. Oh, that, right. that was the last thing that happened. And then it's actually Jeff's turn. Great. And remember, you don't want anybody to see... You don't want the con people to see any of their friends get hurt. I'm gonna shoot the Rakshasa in the face. <laughs> <laughs> That's just gonna ruin it all. Yeah. Yeah, well, I mean, it's. <laughs> they're gonna be uncalmed. They'll be okay. uncalmed. Okay. The dead or poofed away Rakshasa yeah, is a better yeah, Rakshasa. Yeah, get poofed away. He's got over 250 hit points. Well. Let's start. Let's start <laughs> knocking them down. I'm gonna do the street sweeper option on heavy bolter. Over, uh, uh, okay. over he 350. Has, because he's a large target. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's over 350. Yes. So Jeff takes his heavy bolter out the door and pulls the trigger <laughs> and holds it down. <laughs> yes. Four shots. Uh, hey, thank you, Jeff. <laughs> Your heavy bolter magic. Yeah, is it magical? Oh, okay. shit. Magic weapons don't work on him. Magic only work on him. Only magic work on him. Only magic weapons. Oh. What's your alignment? Yeah, if you're good, then that's good. I, uh, I, you know, <laughs> it's only this guy where it actually matters, so I, like, never write it down. You never even wrote it down. Yeah, well, what's his alignment? Chaotic something. If he's being taken over. I'm not possessed right now. Probably chaotic good, honestly. Way okay, you neutral. are. I'm not wearing the chaotic neutral shirt, but <laughs> I have one. I had a chaotic neutral shirt. No, I'm totally good because that's how it is is beneficial. <laughs> <laughs> So it does nothing, right? Yeah, does no damage. So uh, is that our house is 16? How many times did you hit him? Twice. None of those uh, hurt him. Even the critical? Even the critical. Damn. Guys, you're supposed to tell me that magic. So that matter. means they're still calmed. What? <laughs> because no one got hurt. He's no one got hurt. Yeah. <laughs> it was just if something would happen that it would upset them. If the target is attacked. Or witnesses any of its friends being harmed. Or witnesses its friends being harmed. You're right. It's attacking them or witness the friends being harmed. So since he took no damage, they're still called. Yes. I think he's fine. <laughs> he's got it. <laughs> I realized that the heavy bolter didn't work, so I, I switch and pull out my hand bolter, which is magical. I shoot it. 26. That is a hit. Nice. Do you care about uh, which type? No. Switch? Okay. Uh, I'm, I'm, just I'm not sure you're actually going to find to be good. <laughs> He's a paladin! Doesn't matter. Nah. He could uh, be an oathbreaker. <laughs> He's paladin of glory. That sounds like neutral evil to me. <laughs> uh, 14. 14 say, by zero. Uh, when it comes down to it, the way a lot of the lore and canon is written, there are chaotic evil, lawful evil, chaotic good, uh, a lawful good paladins. It falls on. If, if we're doing traditional paladins where your fate is involved, even even deities are going to have paladins. 
Mm-hmm. Yes, the paladin, the paladin of tyranny and the paladin of conquest. No, wait. Yeah. Conquest, tyranny. Yeah, those are the two. I can't remember which one's which, though. <laughs> tyranny sounds like, um... No, maybe I'm getting... Oh, oh no. no. And then you back away from the door. Oh, no. Stay right there. I have a plan for next turn. Well, I said we just lost Ralph again. I have a plan for next turn. Fucking domain spell called Magic Weapon. Nobody told me. <laughs> we tried. After I shot. <laughs> oh, yeah. I, I, yeah. Are you did back? Did he just come back? He did. He came back. But everything is not shared now because I was in the process of trying to get him back. And I got reshared. I ran behind you and I say, oh, yeah, I forgot. I have a magic weapon spell. Can you hear us, Brock? I hear you. I was just trying to make sure I'm not yelling at you guys. <laughs> yeah, it worked. Yeah. That time. It worked. Good. Anyways, uh, tyranny is definitely lawful evil. Conquest is lawful AI evil. Oh, okay. Ow. Mother of God. I don't know why it's not sure. I'm having super cheap pains, all right? Yeah. You're just, you're just having a bad day over there. I am having a really bad day over here. You are correct. Just bag up your scarves. <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> Pack up my scarves and go. Why is this not sharing? None of us know the answer to this question. I know. I'm just going to get rid of all of those. And just reshare. I know it. Come over here. Am I about to lose you again? <laughs> oh, it's your, it's your stupid. It's fine. I haven't used my bonus action. I'm going to cast a second level magic weapon on the, the heavy bolter. Okay. I thought it was an action. And I am concentrating. I cast a spell. <laughs> Can you go in for an hour too? She's also concentrating. Yeah, I'm concentrating. Are the walking arrows, uh, are they magical? Are the what? Walking arrows? Yes. They are. Yes. Um, that's Jeff's turn. That's Sarah's turn, but Tara's not doing anything. He introduces himself to the guy standing next to him. Hi, I'm Terry. Two year old. And then we have Garachasa. Garachasa casts a spell. Oh. And uh, screams out, Terry, get off your ass and get those boys in the fight. I didn't bring you along to, enter, to talk to the locals. That won't do it. Yeah, it does, because his spell uh, took over your spell now. What? (laughs) All right, then I'm not concentrating anymore. (laughs) So that's good. Well, the other two guys are still affected until Tara convinces them otherwise. Oh, so I am. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you don't have to, but it's up to you. Um, And then uh, we go to the ogres. So these ogres over here come right over. And trip on the civilians. No, he's actually going to smash him. Oh. Oh. Oops. Oh, yeah, he uh, cut that guy in half. (laughs) Oh, my. And, uh, he just has one big axe here. This is some fast ogres. Well, they got long legs. Because <laughs> they're so big. <laughs> this guy comes up here. That was me. Watch you later. <laughs> and he smashes this guy. Let's take him off the map. 
Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> he's standing right outside the door, but he's around the corner this way, so oh. you'll have to step over if you want to stand. And this ogre just gets behind him, and he just hits that guy for fun, because he's an ogre, but he misses him. Ooh. Have the civilians cleared away yet? No, they're going to do that at the end, though. Which is now. Yeah. Okay, good. <laughs> so this guy takes off running, uh, uh, but he, get, he uh, swings at him as he runs away, but he misses, so that guy gets away. This Why are they killing civilians? Because they're ogres. Because they're ogres. Not those guys, though, because they're calm. <laughs> they're just chatting away. <laughs> yeah. These guys are in the by his scarves. Yep, they're down the street. Is this one and that one going to use, use their reactions? Um, yeah, with this one, when this guy goes. Oh. And whap him. <laughs> well, what about that? And he kills this guy. I just put here. And there's one big guy laying over here. I just want to kick him. Just push him around as I need to, though. Yeah, <laughs> this one right here. <laughs> Ooh, cut him in half. I'm gonna suck his soul. Yes, this is just a brilliant oh. idea, guys. <laughs> we are all gonna die. He's mm -hmm. doing this so that when he goes on his cruise, if he doesn't make it back, we aren't left with just thinking he could survive. <laughs> These guys are gonna Now, the question is what does Carl do? Yeah. <laughs> there are two ogres between Carl and his bar. Yeah, you never get between an alcoholic yeah, and a bar. Yeah, I'd screw on two. <laughs> he has an idea. He's going to run around back and climb through the window. <laughs> You guys need to grab a car oh, and he, and he door climbs out through the window and he sees you guys and he goes, Hey, my drinking buddies, there's ogres outside. <laughs> you should suggest you all dimension door out of there. <laughs> and I'll meet you guys at the ship. <laughs> so then we're back to another turn. Oh, oh this guy didn't move. He runs down this hallway. Oh, uh, Allie, so he's gone. I'll tell you by the uh, cart. Am I going to telepathically oh, send a message to Lester? These are calm. Yeah, I saw a car crawl, go around back. Did he just crawl in the back window? Anyone going to answer? <laughs> yeah, we'll get him after we kill the rock shasha. <laughs> We're not going to kill the rock shasha. We need to get him and get the fuck out. <laughs> You guys, Dimension Door, I'll meet you at the, the, grab him, Dimension Door, and, and I'll meet you at the ship. Do you have Dimension Door? I don't. No, Do you Lester does. Oh, can you take anyone bigger than you? No. You can go, go in a hole. Oh, I'm in the portal hole. Just get it over. Right, oh, but we'll then he'll we'll start killing people first. Yeah. <laughs> right. You have a portable hole, Jeff, which is why you weren't allowed to use it last time. Because he said you had it. Yeah. You have the portable hole, yes. Yeah, that's right. You yeah. were carrying the portable hole for some reason. Mm -hmm. Which is why we didn't have it all last week. Because. Oh. Weird. <laughs> why was I carrying it? I don't know, but I think you could throw someone in that hole. Or you should t suggest to Carl you guys go and hide in the hole. Oh, from the Did you fucking turn? Dishonest. Like. So you're well, I was going to do old person on him, but he's out of my range now. Oh, yeah. Right, right. right. <laughs> so, instead, I'll just throw a frag grenade out the window to that guy there. You're going to throw a frag grenade out here? Mm-hmm. Step over there. Toss frag grenade. Step back. Yep. Boom. All right. Boom. I'm going to fill this in. Ooh, look at them rolls. Damn. They both say. Oh. They're ogres. <laughs> I get the best save. Did you take half damage or something? Yeah. That's a four. It was a four. Hmm. Eight, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. That sucked. 
17, so 8 each. For those ogres on your side of the street. Alright, so that was one. Let me throw another. What do you say? Why do you have so little room over there? I don't know. Are you just going to throw another one? Yeah, I only had two left, so. Okay. I'm just going to throw those, get them out of the way. Alright, well, I failed both of those. Yay! Go better. Yeah, right? Uh, let's see. 8, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18. 26 each. And also you blew up that cart. <laughs> okay, and then um that was two right, so yeah. I can um bonus action. Uh you know what, I'll just stay here. What I'm doing. I'll just stay where I'm at. Uh are you gonna stand in the window or are you ducking back around the No, window? I'm ducking. Okay. And taking cover. And ducking and taking cover. <laughs> okay, well, they've used the reaction, so. Um, it would be Lester's turn. Alright. Uh, using two sorcery points again. Oh shit, did that just make it so they're not calm? Yeah. I'm going so to quicken okay. a fourth level fireball. And I'm going to center it to take out those four that are out there. And then cart. <laughs> and those corpses. And fuck that. Yeah, fuck the cart. <laughs> Ooh, and what's your saving throw? Um, what's your save? 15? 18? 18. Uh -oh. I think we're about to lose a man. That's a 70. Uh, 18. 18. Are you guys hearing me? Yes. Yeah, we're hearing you. I say it's 18. Okay. No. And what's the damage? Okay. Uh, well, I am using another sorcery point to empower this. Okay. So we don't know what the damage is yet. You're in the small! Yeah, it kills the front one there. And bloodies the rest. Uh, the ones I see had the same amount of damage, didn't they? What? What front one? Alright. This one. Did the back those, one saved. They both saved to begin with, and then they both failed, so they should have had the same amount of damage. They did? And then you threw a fireball at them, and one of them saved the one of them, didn't Oh, okay, I didn't understand that. <laughs> All right, then. Uh, so that was my bonus action. Oh, because of the quicken. Yeah. Uh, yep. And I still got my hasted action, which I'm going to use next. Uh -huh. Are uh, you going to... The two ogres that are by the tavern, are they near uh, a window or a door? They're by the front door. You're going to uh, move adjacent and to me. Yes, adjacent. Okay. Okay. Fine. <gasps> Perfect. Okay, I don't know why the screenshot did. Sorry, I'm sorry, but I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. How are you touching stuff? <laughs> I touched it! I'm sorry! This is having a bad <laughs> day. I'm having the worst day. Okay. Do you have a back? I'm using my... I'm using my hasted action. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to stab that ogre. Oh, okay. It's not because I don't have my extra screen. Uh, 11's gonna miss him, I'm assuming. Uh, no, 11 is a hit. He's very large and very slow. Okay, that's fine. I'm, I'm cool with this. <laughs> okay, hold on. AC on the ogres is 11. No. All right, Fury the Small. 
Oh, yes. 16, 16 more. That does kill. Nice. Alright. He had two hit points left, right? Uh, no. no. <laughs> he had 11. He had 11. So he's negative 5. So he's uh, negative five after our, the period is small. 43, 46. So 57 hit points is what they've got. 459. 59? Yeah. Well, I did. Well, you know, I did the math wrong. <laughs> he had 13 left when you appear in the small, and okay. he's apparently a negative three. I was looking at the other guy's hit points. <laughs> Right. Go ahead and move me forward. Uh, Outside? Looks like two more squares. Yep. And then I got two more attacks going on that bitch boy. And I get a 15. Well, but I do more damage. Uh, five points of damage. Five. He's at 48. room, but then, you know, that's even better. You're behind Jeff and a small piece of wall. Works for me. <laughs> All right, I'm going to sign on the turn. Hello. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and step out and stab this guy. All right, and are you going to uh, hide? Yes. So you're going to hide, jump out where he didn't see you coming, and stab him. Yes. Did the if 29 he got last time not, not roll still, over? Yeah. No, it doesn't go to the next turn. He's going to jump out of that door. Never mind. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah you're, you're probably gay, but roll your stealth and uh, I just you use your bonus action. Oh, oh 21 for stealth. Okay. By the way. This, this was important. This was science. <laughs> So you um, step out there, uh, nonchalantly looking like you're trying to run away, but then you stab him. Yeah. So you have advantage. Okay. Uh, 28. That's it. And then you're going to do sneak attack. Uh, yes, yes, I will. Baited him into using a sneak attack on that guy. <laughs> he then kills that guy. That's it. Two hit points left. Yeah. Four. <laughs> uh, and then I'm just going to. How far? Oh, four, right, yeah. Yeah, you're right. There's only what? One, two, three, four to come out of here. Far have I come out already? I was already moved. How many from right there? One, one, two, two three. three. Sorry, three. Okay, yeah. Well, that's fine. Uh, four, I was one, would I be able to, with my second action, use my bow and shoot the other one across the way? Uh, yeah. Sure. And I will shoot the jack one. Okay. Uh, 18. Yeah, there's also a hit. And then the damage is five damage. 
five. Five. And then I'm going back inside. Right there. I think we're moving further back every time. <laughs> Stay away from the door. Y'all gonna tell me what the fuck the rock should do? Fireball inside the door. Oh, it's okay. a beating. <laughs> yeah. Okay, keep on going. It what? It's like the Energizer Bunny of, of mods. Okay, you told you told me after the fact that ma ma oh, magic only. Everything sixth level oh. and a lower a fails. Any spell sixth level or lower will spell will fail. Yeah, I'm already I'm already concentrating on one spell. I'm not. <laughs> um, okay. That includes your smite though. He does not include smite. He, that is, sure. he was immune to damage. something. Wasn't damage. he immune to really? something? Okay. Was he immune to something? I thought he was immune to something. Non damage. magical weapon. That was it. There wasn't yeah. any kind of damage he was immune to. No. Okay. Just non magical weapons. Great. Well, then I walk out the door and say, "Well, well, well." And my gun is glowing a little bit this time. <laughs> and I do it again. Sword? Can't you just can't you take your sword? John? I could. I'm a shooter. Fucking fight. Say hello to my little friend. And do it again. Uh, I got a 21 and a. I don't know. That. Wait, no. That one. That one. That one. Yeah, uh, 21 and 26. 21 and 26 is about the same. The other two were just misses? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, you can see 16. Yeah. You care which ones these are? Uh, nope. Just yeah. have them all. Um, 11, 26 between the two shots? 26 total brings them to 40. 40? Yep. Yeah. I had three and ten more. And then I do it again. Uh, 18, 21, 22. That's it. How are we doing this last so time? Three hits. Stunned them. I have to stunning him. Mm -hmm. 10, 20. Five and I'll pump uh, Alpha Spark in there to make it even 30 on that round. 30 for three shots? <clears throat> All right. And then? Nah, uh, melee. Melee? Yeah, melee. melee. Oh, don't, excuse me, I'll, I'll just finish my turn. Yeah. Never use a pally, so. Mm. Yeah, I'll go back in here and be like, all right, Carl. If you didn't know this, this guy's here for you. And I know you're going to poof. Uh, you don't really care. But he's going to try and kill us in the meantime. So we need to get where you are for, for our own safety. Where are you so that we can get away from him? I think I have to make an intelligence roll. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think you do. What? <laughs> he wants to know where you're going to. When you when poof you, away, where do you, you go? Poof away. Right. You're obviously safe wherever you are. We need to get to where you are because we need to get away from him. We need to go where you poof. Whoa, man, I don't even know you guys. We're what drinking buddies. We drank one day, right? Wasn't it one day? No, I had a week. <laughs> it, was, it was way longer than that. That's how much fun it was. <laughs> Alright, uh, Tarek actually turns around and whacks both of these dudes behind him. Ah, fuck. Oh, no, never mind. Over. He doesn't have to whack them because you were damaging people. Mm -hmm. Never mind. Um, no, yeah. he can still whack them. I mean, you gotta kill the civilian, though. <laughs> Just lay him down. And then he takes off. Well, the guy he was having a nice chat with. He crushes his car and stands right in front of the door. We can't reach it from there. And then we have the Rakshas turn. And he is going to cast a spell. Nobody can see him right now, right? Mm hmm And hold it. Not that it mattered the last time I tried counter spell, but okay. Right. <laughs> you can try again. <laughs> I can't see him. 
Right, no, but I'm, you, uh, I was just uh, I was thinking you can't do make an arcana check because you can't see what he's doing, right? So, yeah. uh, this guy's going to go ahead and whack that thing in you guys by. We got it. He's going to stand right in front of a Nara store. That guy's going to try to whack that dude. And he does. There's just bodies everywhere. Uh, and, oh, this guy. Right here. He runs right up here to the door. Line him up. And he actually squeezes himself in there. Oh, all right. Yeah. Not that you think. Because he's a 10 foot guy, it's 5 foot door. Squeeze. That's gotta be a reaction for me. No. <laughs> but he, he is closed now inside the room. Alright. Because um, he takes up four squares and he's only got like two and a half, two and a half, and two and a half. No. He's got three. <laughs> so he's closed in there now. Um, and he tries to attack you, but he attacks at disadvantage. And uh, the one and the four. So I don't know. Does he have one weapon? Yes, he has a shield. Ooh, get the big armor class. <laughs> Five more damage for the rocks out there. What's that for? From the magic weapon, I forgot. It's, it makes it a plus one weapon to attacks and damage. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. That was the ogre. Right, so this guy is uh, uncomfortably exposed into this room with you. So if you attack him, you'll have advantage. If you melee attack him, you'll have advantage. Well, actually, if you missile attack him, you'll have advantage too. But, um, so, uh, oh, that's but the you're, damage one, isn't it? Uh, yeah. It's very it's damaged. significantly damaged. Yeah. Like only seven attack points. him. You'll have advantage. Okay, it's your turn. And can't start crit. Um... Uh, at the very least, at the very least, you'll kill him. I was gonna have you If you shoot him, you'll have advantage and disadvantage. But the way he's blocking the door, well, you, know, you can see that you can see two of them. All right. So would Vape Saber be a? Vape Saber is good. You'll have advantage. All right. He's got seven hit points. It's a hit. D8. Just gonna rub that shield. Let's see. Really helped out. 20, 10, 8. Sorry, 8. No, that's 10. One down. Nine damage. Nine total? Yeah. Thank you, Elsa. Give me six grenades. I only had two. I'm out of grenades. I threw them all. Yeah, and uh, notice that you're actually adjacent to this guy. So can I just... Whack him and then bunny hop away. Um... Or run. Whatever. <laughs> well, no, bunny hop avoids the tag mark, Jenny. Yeah, that one. The... Can I have a bolt for him? Uh, no. Nope. You would want to... You would want to bunny hop away and then have a bolt for him. So you're not, you'd have disadvantage if you're standing next to someone when you shoot. Oh, uh, so I can vape saber him. Yes. Set the advantage. Uh, no. no. He's not close. He's outside. Oh, well then I don't want to vape saber. Then bunny hop first and then shoot. Okay, I'll bunny hop first and then heavy bolts. All right, and how far do you want to go? How far I have to go. Oh. So he am not in range, but I am in range. Right. Not in his range, Just but... Just go to the back wall. Yeah, take me to the back wall. Okay. Mm -hmm. Advantage or no? No. No. Oh, hard time seeing it. Uh, 23. That is it. Let's do 10. Ugh. It's two of them? With a heavy bolt or yeah. Oh, okay. And then plus 10? 
No, plus five. Yeah. Okay, so that's 14. 14 total. Mm hmm. All right. And then. Can I bonus action or right action bonus surge? Bonus action when you're running oh. up, you can action surge if you want. Action surge or walloping arrow on him? Or am I too close? Mm -hmm. I'm too close. Try to get him down. Okay. If he falls right, you fall on the other guy. <laughs> no, he'll just fall straight down. No, I was trying for fancy shooting. <laughs> no. Alright. That's a 23. That is a hit. Two of those. Wait, that's an eight. Yeah, the, the long yeah, bow is a long bow. Oh, long bow. Okay. Never mind. Uh, eight damage. All right, and it doesn't knock him down. He's pretty strong. Ugh. Are you going to shoot him again? I can't, can I? Yeah, that's with an true. action surge, you get two more attacks. Oh! Realize. Oh yeah. Let's let's do that again. With another wall of here? Actually, I'm thinking the heavy bolter. It does more damage. <laughs> See, I'm doing it. Okay. He had a Jones in here. If I had a whip, I'd throw it out. <laughs> Back to the heavy bolter. Alright. Oh no, that didn't. Oh, that's a miss, yeah. yeah. A one is a miss. Uh, you're plus ten, though, so it takes a one to miss. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. And I get one more. No, no, no. that's it. I thought you said I got two more. Yeah, you, you, yeah, you did one bow shot and one heavy bolt. Oh, I thought so you meant two more on top of what I had done. A heavy bolter and a bow and a heavy bolt. I misunderstood. And okay. then you stopped juggling. Because <laughs> your turn was over. <laughs> I was trying to impress it with my juggling skills. All right, Lester, it's on you. All right, here we go. There's a big uh, ogre standing in the doorway. Uh, <coughs> there is. And there's two other ones out there in the street, too, so... Uh, I just need to get Carl out of here. I want to eat up my sorcery points by... He's the things. easiest one to get so, out of here. I like, just boops. smack him. Yeah, I just smack him. Now he'll go away. But he'll poop. I meant you need to kidnap him. This is the perfect time to kidnap him. There's all this distraction. It's true. You can disarm right. him so he doesn't destroy the All right, now I'm quickening this time. I'm going to use my regular action for this. Another ninth level, another fourth level <laughs> of uh, fireball. And I'm going to center it. On that middle over there, so it hit uh, the half naked one and uh, the wounded one. Okay, I mean you can't actually see there, but you can see here, which is close enough. And he's super speedy; he could just run through, find it, open a hole, do it, and then run wherever. I mean, well, okay. So are you moving within range of that dude, though? That's the question. Uh, but... Am I moving within range of the... Uh, see where the door is? Uh, one? Mm -hmm. So you can see yeah. this way. Yeah. So we might as well just cast it from there and just put it, like, here. This is going to hit all around me now. Yeah. Mm. Got it. Mm. Okay, do it. Uh, <laughs> that poor body uh, in the process. Body I'm pretty body. sure that one's already barbecued. Yeah. All right. Now I am going to go ahead and spend a sorcery point to empower this because that was not as good as the previous one. Alright, um, that means I'm going to get help. Take care of those guys. Oh. Okay. Give it. <laughs> Wait. Uh, no. You said you're saving there is 18? Yep. Oh, I guess that's it. And the uh, dude in the doorway also fails. Alright. That's 39. 39. And I am going to Fury the Small target the uh, half naked one. Alright. 39 means this so guy dies. Because he's so got a bunch of 16 different shots in there. 
And the other guy takes 39, and the dude in the door does 55, right? Yeah. Uh, 39, 16. Seven more points damage on Sorry, the big, big guy. C2. Alright. And then for my bonus action, I'm going to do goblin shift, disengage, and move away back behind Jeff. Who made it? And don't forget, you started within five feet of me, so your base movement was in already increased by ten. <laughs> and then you hasted it. And then you're... Yeah. Yeah. The goblins have too much I coffee. Am, dude, I am just moving around at my speed, okay? <laughs> coffee goblin. All right, and then that brings us to silence. Oh, um, I am... going to go ahead and move up and stab the orc. Oh, okay. oh, sorry. <laughs> Orc. I've been too much Lord of the Rings recently. Uh, I will go ahead and. He takes up the four, right? So, like, he would only have to go there? Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. That's easy. Uh, let me just roll. Uh, 12. Uh, no, that's a miss. Yeah, he's, uh, he's a 16. And then I'll go ahead and try to hit him with my second one. That's 25. Nice. Okay. Seven points of damage. Seven points of damage. Can you see him? I don't know if you can uh, see him at the wall in the way. Oh, probably not. If, oh, if it has corners there, yeah. Yeah. Just him. Never mind. Can uh, I see him, right? Yeah, right. Sure. Yeah. And then I will just actually go ahead and Ooh. bonus action hide and disengage right away. Uh, since I already attacked him with my uh, oh, bowl, okay. I don't have to worry about it. So. Yes. Yep. I'm just basically yeah gonna stay like right here. Just move back one. Oh, is it blocking you the doorway then? What? There's, there's a little door in there. In there. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. All right, and that brings us to Jeff. <clears throat> Who's this asshole? <laughs> is he gonna poof too? Uh huh. Tori? Yeah. He's a berserker. I run the corner. And I shoot him in the fucking face. <laughs> <laughs> With your holy weapon? My holy street sweeper, yes. <laughs> oh, fuck yeah. <laughs> All okay. the 20s over here and a uh, 23 and a 27 over there. Okay. Those are all hits then. <laughs> Okay, let, let me know when I get close so I can try and suck this out. <laughs> Alright, so that uh, is... Uh, no. <laughs> no? No. Alright. <laughs> that's, uh... Eight and another... That's two. Math. Uh, <laughs> 21. Plus... Uh, an additional four each. 29. On the two regular hits. 29 for the two regular hits, that brings to the 104. 
This is one critical. So 15, 30, uh, 4. Ryan? Yeah? 75 was for, that's for the uh, the Rakshasa. You're right. 75 for the Rakshasa. What the Rakshasa was at. So this is the first damage this guy's actually taking. No. No? The fireball. 69. 69. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so I just uh, subtract 6 from here. Okay. Got it. Ding. <laughs> yeah. So you got the 34 on that one? Yeah. Now the second crit. Uh, that's... Eight, sixteen, nineteen, plus twenty-four, twenty-three. Twenty-three. So one fifty-five. He's not even bloody. He's not even bloody. And I do it again. Uh, double sixteens, twenty total, and um. Oh, that's a fifteen. I need sixteen. Yep. Right. So you missed once. Are you yeah. remembering the one to hit? Yep. Yeah. Okay, so three hits. Oh. Uh, five, nine, and uh, another 11 plus 20. Okay, you take each of these guys. Torek? 20. That's Torek with 155, not Rosh? Oh, fuck. No, we missed that. He fucked up, we mixed up the things. Yeah, I'm saying now, though. Hmm? Uh, <laughs> And That's Rosh. Uh, 18. No. 18. Taurus got hey. that much? No. I did 20 okay. on the first two, okay. and then 18 just there. So 38 total. Yeah. On anything. Yeah, Taurus saying 193, and nobody hit the rock shots with this turn. And Taurus not bloody yet? No. So Taurus has more hit points than the Rosh Shaka. Yes. Rock Shasta. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. he throws bags of hit points at us all the time. This is better this is better than the little like <laughs> tiny little monsters that are just a million of them. A million one point monsters or one million point monster. Hey fuck off. <laughs> I'm not <laughs> scared. <laughs> million point monster coming in. Quit crowding me. <laughs> Quit giving my turn. Um, do I have a bonus action or anything? Mm. Oh, we should be tracking that. Oh. Uh, Is there a holy weapon? weapon? Yeah, how yeah. long it lasts. It's a magic, magic weapon. Is it magic weapon or holy weapon? Magic weapon. Magic weapon. Magic weapon. Holy weapon is a different thought. Why yeah. don't um, you just oh, kill him with your sword? You okay. can do whatever you want on your turn. I'm going to these guys in the background here. They they should have tried to begin to wait. But wait, there's no door. Oh, okay. Then they're just standing over here. They can all get in if there's no door. If you got it in the window. They climb oh. out the window. That's a good idea. I <laughs> know. <laughs> and I'm back. And I'm just going to, oh, yeah, we'll stay ready. Now I'm done. Now you can wait. Take your turn. Uh, okay. Now it's Sarah's turn. And he comes smooshing in into the room, and no, he's not. Like, it's his turn. He can go in there. Yeah, but he's still he's still um you know squashed, right? Uh, and he and he and he screams out, "I found the monk!" And he takes really two giant blades. Yeah, yeah, Do yeah. I actually? Because I did bonus action hide. You, behind the what? <laughs> yeah. Skulker, a skulker. As long as there is low light in any way, I can attempt to hide. And there's a wall. Do you see the wall? There's a bar. There's a box. <laughs> it's just a box. <laughs> What's the look you're giving? What? What's this look you're giving? I'm just, I'm just like, is he just gonna hide permanently? No. <laughs> yeah. I mean, he's standing five feet away. He ducked behind the thing. There's a box. There's a box there. There's a box. <laughs> And he's standing right over it. <laughs> you forget that that spider's there all the time. <laughs> we knew he's there. I could just be hiding up in the top corner. Just. <laughs> right. 
He's always just looking down at things. What if he looked up? Oh shit. When was the last time he looked up? He <laughs> <laughs> doesn't have to look up. His head's hitting the ceiling. <laughs> okay, go ahead and roll. And you have a disadvantage and advantage with the uh, with your cloak, right? Yes. Okay. He's not He's not clever enough. Uh, yeah, I rolled an 18 on the Yeah, box. okay, he doesn't yell out, I found the monkey. He thinks you're a box. <laughs> he yell out, I found the box? <laughs> no. Instead, he hits the barbarian. And what's your armor high these days? Uh, currently 18. 18. Chonky. Um, yeah, magic sword. We okay. got 19 <laughs> and 29. Give me an additional one or two. Uh, additional one, but also, um, change the uh, formula. Okay. I mean, it's 15 plus dex, which is now the same as the, the, the brain one, but before it was slightly better. That's cool. So and an additional one. 15 and 20. Damage? Yeah. 15 and 20? Uh-huh. And two concentration checks if you believe in that sort of thing. <laughs> uh, Lester doesn't believe 12. in concentration mm -hmm. checks. I have a plus 12. Oh, you don't believe in concentration checks either? No. <laughs> he doesn't believe in concentration checks either. <sighs> You're good. You got close though. Yeah. And then the right shot is really disappointing. That uh, no one would... Uh, Come out and get eat his spell. So that was boo hoo. Oh no, you wasted a slot. Ha ha. Yeah. Ha <laughs> ha. Doesn't it? <laughs> um. Okay. Well, no one can see him, so I'm not gonna tell you what it is. <laughs> <laughs> and then it's the ogres. There's one ogre left. And he only has 39 points of damage. So he's gonna go here and take a disadvantage. It's all ogre now. Oh, you don't get anything from that? No, it, well, he just gets a disadvantage when he tries to attack him. Oh, okay. He's got two weapons though. So he gets, uh, oh, that's good. 18. Marvel class is 18. 18, I got uh, 20 and a 21. Uh oh. Like 20 and then critical? No. Not critical. Give me a four. So he does uh, 13 and 19. Oh. 32. Thank you. You're welcome. You're just going to write down 32. You don't need to some, do any subtraction. Yeah. You're good. Okay. Uh, all right. Then that brings us back to Inara. Now this guy is as close in here. Oh, he really is. That was two tanks of different damage. Mm -hmm. Vape saber. Oh, 14 and higher. All Take it the yeah, these ogres right? are, are like the elite ogres. That's just a regular Take ogre. I know, but I'm just saying. Is my vape saber? Yes, it did. Yeah, you have advantage. But you like made several uh, dex checks. You've got two hits on disadvantage. <laughs> like like <laughs> dodge a fireball. Yeah. <laughs> These are oh, the elite sucked. ogres. <laughs> 16? 16 is a hit, yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, they are going to a lot of things. Check. The one of them dodged one of her attacks. Time. <laughs> Made that two. Uh, nine. No. Six points of damage. Six points of damage? Yeah. Alright, and you know this guy's bloody. Uh, I need to do it again. Damn, I cannot. Damn. 17. There's also a hit. Oh, you want a critical? Are you complaining? <laughs> Pretty much, like, yes. What's he complaining about? 11 <laughs> points. 11 damage. points of damage. Damn. Yeah. That was real close. What's he got? 36. Mr. Patrick. 3 to go. I can't have action. Can't bonus action. Yeah, you can bonus action on the table again. Yeah, let's okay. do that. She's gonna tell her. Alright. They're vape puns. 
Uh, 15 and 5 is 20. Okay. That's a hit. Sorry, my brain has just right. shut and then down. Been Are you sure? It doesn't matter what I get out of a die? No. Okay. Because you're going to add 5. Oh, it was a 4, not a 1. <laughs> he had 3 left, so. I got, you got. I got 9. So unless you roll negative 3. <laughs> All right, so he's dead. Okay. I'm just gonna stay where I'm at. Okay. I don't even think I want to get closer to the window at this point. All right, and then we go to Lester. Okay. Uh. Over the dead. He's not an ogre. He's a big ogre. Oh, he's a berserker. Okay, he's a berserker ogre. Okay. You said there was only one ogre left, like okay. five minutes ago. If I rewound, yeah, it uh, would yeah, say, you're right. there was one ogre left. That was before I just killed that ogre. <laughs> so. <laughs> so there's one special ogre left, but no plain ogres left. Uh, okay. No celery ogre. Only kinky <laughs> ones. Hmm, I don't know what kind of kinky. Does he like bunnies? Kind of kinky. Okay. <laughs> Does he like bunnies? Uh, I took you a minute too! You're what? I'm currently not uh, in. You're not adjacent to him, correct? Not, well, I'm not adjacent to him, but I'm not within reach of him either, correct? I don't know, maybe. Maybe between his legs. Well, I understand. What do you you're what's within the reach between... of him. Oh, he doesn't have a reach now. Okay, good. All right, then. Uh, going to... He's <sighs> close, so I'm going to have advantage on this regardless. You say he's going to expose? Right? Yes, he's close. Yes. Yes, you want to move right here? You can do it. For me to, is there enough room for me to get adjacent to him? Yes, right there. Perfect. Move me there, please. All right, then. I'm going to start off with the hasted action. Savvy. I'm not a champion. And that's going to be seven points of damage. Sixteen is our Okay. I thought I heard you say sixteen before. I just wanted to make sure. Three points of damage on that one. Uh, my bonus action, I am going to convert a second level spell slot to give me two sorcery points back. That brings us to silence. Oh. All right. So now I'm you have somebody adjacent, so you're gonna get sneak attack damage. And he's close. Oh yeah, and that gives you advantage, so you get, get sneak attack damage. Oh, did we ever? Just on a quick. Did we ever decide if Elven accuracy? Because it says when you have advantage on your attack roll using one of these modifiers, you can reroll one of those one. Oh, reroll one of those dice. 
once. Yeah. But is that one time only, or is that one time per roll? I can. I think it's per roll. So I'm not trying to cheese it if it's not. Yeah, I, I think it's just. Yeah, I think it is. Because I remember people complaining about it. <laughs> Damn, that was a cheat. It does sound kind of broken, to be honest. But if it helps us, I'll, I'll allow it. <laughs> <laughs> Who knew, Elf? Who knew? What? I can turn your arm. What? As long as it's a dex weapon. Yeah, as long as it's a dex weapon. So that monk, my monk weapon, then. Yeah, oh, uh, it actually includes uh, any attack that is dex, intelligence, wisdom, or charisma. It works on spells too. Interesting. That's cool. Yeah. That's good to know. Yeah, we also cheat. Oh no. You can roll as many times as you want if you put it out of the mic. <laughs> <laughs> so you gotta. Uh, let me go ahead and re-roll this. That didn't help anybody. Uh, Twenty-five to hit. Yeah, that's a hit. And you'll put the uh, sneak tag on the first one? Yeah, I'll go ahead and do that. Just in case you missed with your three dice. <laughs> right. Two advantages. This guy's obviously raging, and that's why um, he's taking half damage from all these attacks. So that's why he's so every extra big bonus. Great. Right. So instead of having all the damage, you just double this. Exactly. But if he has called motions on him, and then whack it real hard. It's double damage. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, no, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and use a key point this time to oh, where he was. Right. A few, two more attacks. Yep. Two more punches. Punch. Yeah. They're all the same. You dagger. can't stunning fist through a dagger. Dang it. I just looked it up. Really? <laughs> yes. That, yeah, as long as it's a long time. That's what we talked about right before you got here. Oh shit. <laughs> yeah. How come I can't smite with a gun? <laughs> Bullshit. Monk uh, 17. 17 is a hit again. Huh? That's cool. doesn't even say monk weapon. Uh, seven points of damage. Hmm. So 27 for my second hit. Mm -hmm. And then it's going to be nine points of damage. So 16 total, so 268. And I'm going to spend one more, just one, to try to stunning strike him. One with the stunning strike. 14, that's so good. Ah! Now he's stunned. Yes. Okay. And that's my turn. And that raises to Jeff. Oh. Oh. Smite the shit out of him. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say something cool with the sword, though. I don't know. Whatever. Yeah, I'll pull out the sword anyway. I was going to... Uh... I mean, I'm not going to be reckless, because I already have the thing with it, so... Uh, 19 plus of stuff. Would he have a bandage on an attack roll because he's stunned? Yeah, and also because he's in a space too small for him to fight in. Total 15. And if that wasn't enough, he could be reckless. 22. <laughs> Triple advantage. 22 damage? 22. And again. More weight. Yeah, I'll, I'll just do a, a level one smite in there. Just throw a level one on this one? Yeah. Just a little fuck you. Yep. Nice. Oh, we have 14 more? 14 more. Second attack. 
Uh, 21. With advantage, right? Yeah. Okay, I just can hear the dice. Big sword. I'm little. Oh, yeah, 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 that's right. Never mind. I forgot. You just need Which, to... Yeah, Axel swings around the regular sword at disadvantage. That's why I asked for a small <laughs> so one. Hey, he's got a smaller sword now. <laughs> 21 hit. All right. I can fucking re-roll the ones and twos. Re-roll your ones and twos. Yeah. Uh, At higher levels, that is the most used skill of anyone. <laughs> uh, 10, 15, 18, 20, uh, 5. 25, 329. You know, I'll put another He's not raging one. anymore. Why? Because he's stunned. Oh. Huh. Does stunning keep you from raging? I don't think so. Uh, he's still taking damage. I don't know. Yeah. Oh, so he's still raging. Yeah, he's, yeah. Like, he's really angry about not being able to move. <laughs> All right. But he's not incapacitated because of stunning. No. Yeah. Because I think that's a rage thing. If you become incapacitated, you lose yeah. it. Incapacitated. Okay. So we just have to. Stun him and then just leave him alone for a turn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm gonna do uh, another smite. Uh, for another eleven. I'm gonna use my bonus action to channel divinity. When you smite somebody, you can get some temporary hit points. Which I did. I got 20, 20 hit points. Nice. Um, that's it. Right. And then it becomes Tarek the Stun. And then there's our Shazan hovering just above the ground. He's actually flying now. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> oh, you know, he's just gonna fly right in the room, I knew it. But he's also exposed because he's too large to be in there. <laughs> Hands are backwards. Yeah. So it's like a backhand. I'm suddenly hearing, I'm suddenly hearing a pimp named Slickback. Oh Lord, let me lay this pimp hand down. <laughs> <laughs> I had two ones and a fifteen. So. You missed. Missed. Hey, when that happens. <laughs> We won't believe you if you tell us though, because we can't do it. <laughs> mm -hmm. Then we're back to Nora, I think. Mm -hmm. There's a window over there. You can jump out the window. There's not a window. There's a window in that room. What are those thin lines? Well, in the front. Oh, but he's kind of blocking it. Yeah, he's got the door blocked. Um, are they 500 feet from me? They're much less than 500 feet from me. I'm going to dimension door over to Jeff. Okay. <laughs> Let me make sure I don't have anything to do about that. I do. We're <laughs> standing behind Jeff now. Hi, we should get the fuck out of here. <laughs> and take Carl with us. <laughs> With this guy. He's stunned. We got him. Beat on this guy. Yeah, oh, can I beat on him? I didn't think I could because I just no, spelled, did a spell. Yeah, so that was your action. Yeah. You can't bonus action any, so. No. Just getting crowded over there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, otherwise I call emotions. And Carl says, hey, bunny lady. 
We get back to drinking as soon as my buddy takes care of this guy. Hey, you and I should just slip out and go to the ship. <laughs> and have ourselves some fun. Let these guys take care of this guy. <laughs> This is the door's blocked. <laughs> we can go out the window. We can go out the window. They already forgot about that. <laughs> oh, yeah, there's actually a window they can go out. There is a window, you came in it. <laughs> it's Lester's turn. Lester's turn. Lester's turn. Okay. Uh, Any ladies flirting with Carl to keep him there? You are adjacent. <laughs> and advantage. Yep. All right. We are no longer uh, split. So first. Drink <laughs> me a fourth level spell. All right. But right. <laughs> I think that was my best. The party bet. again, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I think that was my best choice. First attack would be hasted attack. Mm-hmm. He's done, remember? But I mean. Yes. Well, he's also scrolling. He was also so scrolling. So he's not Studying Rashash, so we could get away. That's going to be I can see about a that, I guess, if we can get on. I think that would be wise. We gotta get Jeff out of here, but <laughs> uh, six points regular damage. Fury the small, another sixteen, so twenty-two altogether. Six and twenty-two, sixty-eight. Got it. It's bloody yet. He's bloody. Finally, Finally. <laughs> he's got seven hundred points. Yeah. Why did Rosh Hashanah bring someone stronger than him? What if? Oh, he just has the he just has that Rosh Hashanah has that guy there to be a Me damage uh, soaker. And last attack, uh, be a twenty-two to hit. So if I calm his emotions, will that and cut his stuff in half and kill him? No, no. Oh. It will double the damage that it takes until his next turn, though. Five more points of damage. But if we hurt him. Five more? So... Five more oh, but it won't double the damage he's already taken. No. Ah, oh, damn. <laughs> what kind of fuck that man is he doing? Uh, Girl uh, man! Uh, bonus action. Bonus action. I'm going to convert those second level spell. Give me two more sorcery points back. All right. And that's the end of my turn. They were back to silent. I'm just gonna keep hitting them. Boop, 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 pretty much. Uh, 27. Oh, don't forget your third roll. roll. Roll again to make sure you don't get critical. No. Okay. Uh, that's going to be. Uh, seven points of damage. You save your great, you save your sneak tank for the second one, just in case you get critical. Just in yeah. case, we'll see what happens. Could miss it all three down. <laughs> Could. All my key points on him when we have a another target out there. Uh, let me go ahead and I will just do one more stunning strike. Okay. Oh, I have to wall. I say, did you mean on the last attack, or you're doing another? You're doing a arm strike now, right? Uh. Sure, why not? Let's do that. So I'll use two. I'll just use a free blows and a, and a 
Could use bonus action. Yeah, you bonus just, action, strike doesn't cost a key point, right? So right. You're just doing one. Well, that kind of actually throws me off, because it says key field attack. You can spend one key point um, or more as part of your action on your turn, and you can make one more attack with an unarmed strike or a monk weapon as a bonus action before the end of your turn. That's weird. Yeah, no. You can bonus <laughs> action just punch him. Yeah, I, thought I can just punch him. So that's kind of weird yeah. that it says that, yeah. So yeah, so I'll just punch him and but, throw him. Yeah, or is it saying one more than you usually do as a bonus action? Exactly. That's do you already get that? Yeah, you get one, and you get one more. So, so I mean, you no, probably added another bonus punch. action to get one. Right. Yeah. Yeah. See, that's kind of where right. Right, because it should be. You spend a point to turn your bonus action into two instead of one, because there's no other way. There's no other combination. You can't. Yeah. Have multiple hits on. Because there'd be no point just using one, and then when you can use it one and get two instead of just one. Yeah. 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 yeah so always. And it's not like you're ever gonna get. Two attacks per bonus action. That doesn't happen, other than this one thing. Right. But yeah. maybe it's so it doesn't conflict with other rules that give you more attacks. Yeah. Interesting. All right. So you're gonna make one attack. Just one attack. And make it a stunning strike if you hit him. Correct. We're assuming you're gonna hit him, but uh, good. Maybe. Uh, twenty-five. Uh, twenty-three. Okay. And you're going to make him do another con save. Another con save. There you go, 23. Yeah, he succeeded on that. No, point. this comes up because yeah. it, until the end of his turn. Yeah. Oh, he's going to his turn. So it's your turn. Oh, and the damage was a 2 plus 3, so 5 more damage. 5 more damage. Yeah, combination of calm motion. Stun him and calm motions together, and he wouldn't be able to do anything and take double damage. Yeah, but the minute he takes damage, the calm motions goes away. Oh, you're right, so it only works for one here. Which is why I'm not doing it. Yeah, you're right. That'd be perfect. That'd be perfect. So I'm, I'm holding the sword, and I just hit him with it. Alright. It's like, I have the sword, I am the ruler of the trolls and the orcs. By the power of Klaatu Niktu, <laughs> I command you, calm the fuck down. <laughs> yeah, uh, it doesn't work. I cast command. <laughs> you cast command. That's on a concentration, I would say. It is. Oh, does that mean you're going to give up your holy weapon? I think so. Uh, yeah, no, I'm going to say chill. <laughs> Chill. Chill. Just freezes. Hey, <laughs> calm. <laughs> I, 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 it's just not on the list. <laughs> sure, it's not on the list. Oh, you make him sleep. No. Well, he's an ogre, so I think he would be really. Should clear. I have that sleeping potion? <laughs> yeah. Oh, it is not a concentration. Try and give it to a no. raging ogre. That's all you. Maybe coat it on a weapon if it's. That's what I was just thinking. Yeah, it might coat an arrow with it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that would work. Yes. Well. That's cool. Uh, Damn! Why didn't I think of that before? That could have worked on the Rosh Hashanah too. <laughs> relax. <laughs> we got seven uses. Poison, like I think it is. That's the way they do it. They they coat the tips of their arrow arrows. Arrows. Come to relax. What? Are you just trying to get him to drop his range? Yeah. Okay. But he doesn't act until his turn though, right? Yeah, he takes his, his turn. Yeah. Isn't that now? It's not gonna... It's not gonna work, because he's just gonna re-rage. This bonus action. Oh, I guess it makes it up so he can take. No. Because he has... Because he's relaxed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he doesn't do it until his turn. Hmm. And then he has to do the thing for his turn. Yeah, but he can rage as a bonus agent, so. Alright, then fuck that. Um. <laughs> Take it back. Alright, alright. I'm gonna smack the shit out of him. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> no command whatsoever. Yeah. I'm trying to get a freebie command in there, but no, no, no. Uh, 12? Dude. 22. Well, I mean, I don't want you to go, you know, like. 
calm down and you know and then and then he just goes bone takes rage yes yeah, so that's fine be playing it. I can't persuade him or charm him or to be like oh shit he's got the fucking sword he's right maybe I should no that's, okay. they made that up oh <laughs> Now that's you're what Roger Sean said! <laughs> yeah, that's what they told us. Yeah. That's what Roger Sean told us! 22 days. <laughs> we didn't make it up! We were told that! Uh, 16, 19, 26. He who wields the sword rules. <laughs> and 24 to hit. Well, I barely assume we get a chance because we need to have a discussion with that sword. Uh, right? Yeah. Uh, 10, 19, and another 26. We can discuss stuff with a sword. It's sentient. Oh. Can I detect its thoughts? Possibly. Yes. Might not want to. <laughs> <laughs> not can right I now. telepathically speak to it? Not right now. We have a, a, a Rosh Hashanah as you keep <laughs> saying it up. Oh. I mean, yeah, yeah, you can talk to it, but it can't answer. But you could just walk up to the sword and talk to it. <laughs> right. But if you didn't want anybody else to know what you were saying to the sword. I can tell Pat. <laughs> and then, um, yeah. My uh, bonus action do nothing. Alright, so you used all your action so he can see you this time. Where are you hit point wise? I'm fine. Yeah? How yeah, I've only been hit once. You're not bloody or nothing? So he's going to try to beat the crap out of Turek because that was where his orders. He's going to beat the crap out of himself? <laughs> How does Yeah. <laughs> oh, I like the Tori. Beat the crap out of Tori. I beat myself. <laughs> you like to beat the I'm busy. <laughs> oh, man, for you, his weapon attack was 13. So that's um, 24. And it's? And 25. And, and then a whole bunch. <laughs> so that's three hits. And you got the uh, half one of them, right? I can have one, yeah. So I gotta tell you when I get. So I got uh, 17 and 16 and 16. I'll have the 17. So just take 40. Ouch. <laughs> <laughs> and then we have the right. And nobody can see what he's doing, so let's see that. And then uh, it's um, Carl's turn, and he says, "Come on, buddy, lady!" And he steps out of the and he climbs out of the window, climbs over Lester and out of the window. Then he goes, "There's a fucking tiger man flying above the alley." <laughs> oh fuck! <laughs> so then he climbs back in. <laughs> and this time he goes in the back corner. <laughs> he goes, You guys gotta deal with this shit. I ain't my drinking. I need to get I need to get my drink off. <laughs> I'm gonna hand him a bottle from the bar. <laughs> Here. Just sit in the corner and drink. <laughs> and then and then uh Yeah. And then it's an hour thing. Alright, so actually, uh, what I'm going to do, because it takes an action to dip a poison in the arrows, the arrows into the poison. Does that take an action? I don't know. Because <laughs> it's been so long since anybody tried to use poison. Given the, what she's wanting to do, I would say yes. So at the same time, can I slip a little of that into a bottle of alcohol that I hand to Carl? I would say either get the arrows into the poison. They can't do both? Or pour the poison into <laughs> the bottle. It, either one of those would be the way I would look at well, it. Well, you can do three arrows simultaneously. Okay. So you're gonna do two arrows and a drink? Yeah. Okay. Here, here, Carl. 
Yeah. Just want to help take the edge off. All right, roll for deception to see if he notices you fucking with his drink. Okay. Don't forget to fucking hang your man flying outside the end of the I got 17. Oh, he ain't drinking it. He's not drinking it at 17? No, I rolled 18. <laughs> no, I'm freaked out because he's like dry and there's a fucking tiger man. Yeah, and then he goes, Would you put in my drink? I'm and he's in looking at the drink because there's like little, you know, oil is like on there. It's in the bottle. I handed him a bottle. Yeah, and he's looking in it. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well, at the same time, I'm loading an arrow. Yeah, Tara. He knows what his alcohol Do I have enough? Like? Uh, <laughs> I, I don't have to back up or anything. No, but you had to use your action to make the arrows. Right. I don't get a second action to attack? No, no. Fuck me. In one action, an action can be an action thing or two attacks as one action. It's not an attack. Well, when you shove somebody, that's an attack, in which case then you can hit them with their sword. But that's because shoving is an attack, not an action. But in <laughs> poison on arrows is an action. All right. <laughs> So, if you're level 1, arrows. you miss out on one attack when you put poison on your arrows. If you're level 5, you miss out on two attacks when you put poison on your arrows. If you're 11, you miss out on three. <laughs> well, only if you're special. <laughs> <laughs> yes, she would, because she's a fighter. Um, Lester, no, you're not moving around or anything like that. Alright, uh, Lester. Can I hold, nope. in case Rosh Hashan comes in, can I hold an arrow? Nope. You're, you're spending your time trying to pass off this drink and poison two arrows at the same time. Okay. Okay. I can't do unsettling words on Carl to make it so he... That's an action. And your action was the poison? No, no, the unsettling words is when she... Uh, I basically mock him into not making yeah, yeah, yeah. his you, ability check. Depends on saving throws. It's not also ability checks? No, it's just saving throws. It's negative inspiration on a saving throw. Oh. It's like bardic inspiration. Oh, okay. Negative bardic inspiration. Like yeah. cutting words only. Drugs! What the fuck is it over here? Uh, that brings us to Lester, then. Alright, then. Uh... Okay. But, if he does a stunning attack, that would be the time to do the cutting kind of words. Okay. Mmm. Then I have to try to change. Did you want to go in or just. No, just, just show up filling. Alright. Uh, haste in action. Uh, stabby stab. Because I can do it as a reaction. Uh, oh, yeah. Shit. Uh, is it or even a reaction? I don't think it's uh, anything. I think it's free. Oh, that's, that's cool. What is it called again? Uh, unsettling words. Unsettling words. I think you're just making fun of him the whole time. You missed? I missed with the hasted action. Uh, so that's going to be a regular action. Uh, I missed with the hasted action. Uh, I'm going to do the hasted action. So now regular actions, first attack. You still have advantage because he's close. I did it with advantage. Oh, okay, cool. Just double check. I have a plus seven. Good check. Oh, no. You actually, it, it, is, it is actually a bonus action. So you have to tell him that he's weak now. And then he loses it on his next saving throw. So you can use your bonus action to give him a bad die. All right. Just I, like you use your bonus action to give them a good die. So I, I do have a bonus action I can use. Yes. So we're going right. to put a bad die on him. Yes. All right. He's got a bad die. Next time he makes a saving throw, he gets minus D8. Okay. Because you got a little willy. <laughs> I can see from here. <laughs> and you did all your stuff? You know. It doesn't even get big when you get excited, well, does it? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'm pulling out all the stops now. <laughs> right. <laughs> Small penis humiliation to the rescue. <laughs> Did you say you were finished? No, I'm waiting for, I'm waiting for Nancy quit barking. Oh, that's not going to happen. I don't know why you wait. <laughs> Keep going. Right, what you got? Four eight six. And my last attack coming right now. 
I am not a champion. <laughs> and four more points of damage. Four, maybe. And two more. Bonus action. Okay. You want screw up. Bonus action, kick him in the nards. Wait. Hasted action, two attacks. Yep. <laughs> Two sixes, a four, and a three. Okay. <laughs> I can never tell when he's done math and done. Yeah, I, I am not very fast or good with math. <laughs> but you know, it's just the cadence at which you give me the number. Yeah. You know, you're 15, and I'm like, okay. Yeah. And he goes, 19, 10. Like, Why did you have four? Because <laughs> there's another dot. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, there's more. Okay. Uh, and I'm going to attempt to stun and strike him. You're going to use your bonus action to unarm strike and make it stunning, or you want to make that one stunning? Um, I'm going to bonus action try to hit him first. Okay. Give it a shot. Uh, 13 plus 8, so that hits. Yeah. And roll one more to see if it's okay. It only matters if it's a 20. Yeah. Okay. So that's uh, 8 points of damage. All right, 542, and now he has to make a con save. With a negative die. With this negative die. So that is, no, there's three, three plus seven, ten. He is stunned. <laughs> Jeff's turn. I hit him. 17. Is it hit? We're going to re roll two. those two. So it's eight. You did one. Twelve. You roll your ones and twos. I did. Only once. I rolled the same thing. I rolled the exact same thing. Yeah. So Jeez. it's eight, ten, uh, or ten, twelve. Uh, Nineteen. And do it again. Uh, 23 to hit. Eight. Snake eyes. Uh, 17. Seven. I had 16 for some reason. <laughs> um, and that brings us to Tarok, who is good. And then the Rakshasa. He constipated. Yeah. <laughs> and then the ogres. Uh, 
Ella is 10.07. We may throw one more round so we know what they're doing. Mm -hmm. All right, think so. what I'm doing. Okay, go. And all right. Um, I'm gonna shoot a poison arrow at Tarok. <laughs> shoot your poison arrows. Okay, actually, they have your own poison. <laughs> I don't remember. Do I have a manager now? Yes. yes. You got a 20 on the die. All right. Nice. Then you get to roll 2d8s and add 5. For the bow damage. Googling. These are like real, real cool. 10. Uh, 10 damage. Mm hmm. No, my she should have. These are cutting words. Or what's words of. Unsettling? Yeah. Words? You want to use your bonus action unsettling words before you shoot the second one? Yes. Because you passed the first one. Yes. <laughs> okay. I do. A critical we passed? The critical? How can you pass a critical the, hit? The critical hit doesn't change the poison. The poison is just DC 13. What does the poison do? Poison is sleep? Oh, okay. This is a chance for, right? Man. <laughs> uh, 23. Hit. Oh, no. Uh, yeah, it's actually 18. Okay, yeah, it's a hit. Wait, so he was asleep already? No. No, it's just he'll be poisoned for an hour uh, if he fails the 13. But if he fails by 5, then he falls asleep and gets poisoned. So, it's harder. But with this negative die, am I right? Um, it's uh, 12. No, it's 7 damage. 7 damage. 5 damage. And you're alive. Alright, now he's going to try to fall asleep. Fuck. I fell asleep. No. Nice. Rolled a negative 1. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't hear what you said, Brooke. Brock. The calendar popped up for some reason on screen. The calendar popped up? Oh, oh, I gotta quit putting stuff on the keyboard. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so Hillary's done. Because he's asleep. <laughs> How long does the sleep last? An hour. An hour? Even if we smack the shit out? Even if you smack the shit out. Okay, all right. You're welcome. No, no, I'm sorry. The creature wakes up if he takes damage. Oh, fuck. So just leave him alone. Now we have the Well, no, that's the thing is if you hit him he's now. Got 100 hit points left. If you hit him now, he's, he's not raging. He's got like 100 hit points left. Oh, he's not raging. There. So All right. You, you should stick, go, go ahead, Lester, and stick the shit out of him. Wait. I, wanna, I still have one yeah. more, don't I? Unless you'd like to vape pin him. I'll vape pin him. Yeah. Should I get advantage oh. of that? Uh, yes, because he's prone. Oh, no, you're going to step forward and stab him. Oh. Yeah, that that's good. You can move back. <laughs> but I still get advantage. Yes, you get advantage if you're stabbing him, but you have to step forward. And stab him. But then, yes, you can just step back because he's unconscious. So 21. Automatically a critical hit. Why is it an automatic critical? Because it's if you're within five feet of him, it becomes a critical hit. So you did hit him and it did, so that makes it a critical hit. Sorry. That's going to wake him up. Mm -hmm. Now he's going to use his reaction. Mm -hmm. she, she, she will be able to get away. I can hop. No, no. he's using bonus oh, action to make this his head. Fuck. Okay, I think they're gonna kill him, so just stand there and laugh at him. <laughs> and unsettle him? <laughs> no, just laugh at the small penis game. <laughs> uh, 14 plus 5, 19 damage. 38. Which becomes 38. So that's 633. Lester, kill it! He is no, he's awake, but he's prone, so you still have advantage. He's groggy. Oh, okay. Well, I'm not a champion. <laughs> and he's suddenly vulnerable if to everything. If awake, I don't get uh, automatic crit. No. So. Uh, that's five points of damage. But it's Which doubled. Point? So that becomes ten. So he's not raged. <laughs> and then? He is, he's yes, awake, he's not raging. but he's not raging. He can't rage until his turn. Oh, okay. 
I'm right? Looking at and these hit points come ready. from his rage. All right. Okay. So, uh, first regular <coughs> attack is going to be a 24 to hit. Seven becomes fourteen. Yeah, up to six fifty-seven. All right. Second, uh, regular attack. Great. Ooh. Finally. So how is this going to work? Is it just going to be just roll the damage and we'll double it at the end. Yeah, you you do a normal crit and then we double it. Don't forget your fury of the small. Oh no, he's out. He's out of fury of the small. Uh, I'm out. I'm out. I forgot. I'm Die and one on the other. So, uh, nine points of damage, so 18 points of damage. Uh, you did nine total, right? I did nine total. So, I'm so taking 18. 18. Yep. Uh, and then bonus action, stuff on his nuts. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, that's gonna be a 22 to hit. Small and difficult to hit, according to her. Yeah, that's because they're so small. He takes, I get three points of damage, he took six. Six. That means it's silent turn. Did he even hit your penis? It's so small, I think he missed it. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and hit him again. I don't know, it's hard to see now. It's like it's shrunk up and it's hiding in the bush. 26. Oops, wrong dagger. Uh, eight points of damage. Let me come 16 and then it kills him. Yes! Nice. Now I just have the really bad guy to go after. <laughs> Great. Who's out the window? Jeff. Well, good. Other attacks? I don't know. Bonus action time. He's hiding. <laughs> Is he hiding, Rosh? Just hiding? No, he's hiding. Oh. Yeah. I have a suggestion for you. Cut off the head of this guy, toss it out the window, and said, Hey, your friend wants to talk to you. <laughs> Intimidation. Did that guy die, die, or did he poof? No, he died. He's dead. Big old fat dead body. Okay. In front of the door? Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> you have to crawl over. You got a uh, cool swords? They look cool. Body? Yeah, you. Yeah. And he's mostly naked. Hmm. What's in his coin first? <laughs> uh, okay then. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna yell out the window like I had a. Uh, Did it cut off his head? <laughs> it's a little jacket. Yeah, thing. fine. Cut off his head. Throw the thing. <laughs> okay. Your friend wants to talk to you, Rush. And then, does he say anything back? He said, Torak's brothers will not be happy! And then, it just cuts off. Oh, he's gone. This is next turn. <laughs> okay, so is my action to do that? Okay. Yeah, did you want to do something else? I'm gonna shoot him. Oh. <laughs> Lean out the window and shoot? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> You only have the way to make a uh, wisdom save. Uh, 18. I think that's good. Ooh, it is. 18. Huh? <laughs> oh, that would have been way more fun if you failed. <laughs> that would have been the cliffhanger? Yeah. <laughs> so now you shoot him. Okay. Uh, got, um, plus nine on all these. 23, 24, 19, and a miss. 19 hit? Yeah. Yeah, he's only 16. I have to get it. We would focus on the other guy for 800 points. Well, he was also 16. <laughs> I, uh, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 
11 and 14 is uh, uh, 25 plus another uh, for each, so 33. 33. And then another, uh, another 11. Another 11. All right, and that's the end of your turn. All right, because I only got one shot after cutting off the head. Right. Okay. And then he says, All right, back. Terrox brothers are not going to be happy to hear this while he's casting a spell and <laughs> disappear. What does your prediction say? Well, my I prediction, my prediction was uh, that Rakshasa was actually going to appear out of nowhere, grapple Jip, and then disappear. Oh. oh that could have been good. Doesn't work that way. <laughs> or I'd have already done it. <laughs> what spell did you cast on it? You tried to cast on it. Suggestion. Oh. Right. Which, why don't you just hand me that sword? <laughs> that would have been something. All that fighting for nothing. <laughs> yeah, I know I barely made that. Yeah. Thank you. Aura of protection. Aura of protect myself. So yeah, let's go ahead and show it. Rock Shasha would show up and abduct Jeff. Close though. Oh, and you know, actually, I could have. If he failed the suggestion, he could have just said, "Come with me," and then, right? Is that uh, it works on anybody? The you know, if you're holding hands and you volunteer to go, doesn't say not under magic compulsion volunteer. Oh, okay. <laughs> did you talk about the mission door? Uh, well, well, we yeah. just gotta convince Carl to go back to the Thank ship you. and drink with us to get away from the raw shop. <laughs> right. Or I so had to just. Now the puzzle of Carl is is where we'll pick up. He was the puzzle. I thought he was the puzzle. Yeah. I only, knew was, I only knew that there was a puzzle tonight. I didn't know why I'd do it, but then when I heard he was poofing, I'm like, oh shit, here's our puzzle. Yeah. All right, so no d for three weeks? Mm -hmm. That is correct. Next so like time November? is November. Okay. Wow. Yeah. It seems like forever. I know. Forever. Yeah. I know. That's my We're going to tell you. Well, by the time we come back, I would have uh, certainly completely read through all the landscape. So you can tell us what we're doing wrong? <laughs> so you can tell us what we're doing wrong? Well, no. Uh, okay, so landscape, it's just basically, you cannot see, it's only about sigil. That's all it is. Huh? So it's not going to affect how we're doing landscape at all, how we're doing spell jammer at all. Right. You want to stop the recording? Okay. Yeah. So I what I've seen so far, this is the articles I've read, some of the videos I've been seeing with the developers, looks really good. Interesting. Yeah. Um, I mean, uh, I'm kind of confused because uh, 